I make a lot of fashion content. But to that extent and one day he didn't uh, come home carried Ronnie like a baby into the house and I looked at that and I mean his, his boots were hanging over the security guard arm who had to negotiate getting through the doorway carrying Johnny like this and I thought I watched this his, his assistants and the other security guards shaking their head you know just shaking their head acknowledging this is how bad it is and I remember thinking this has got to be it like this has got to change this is surely this is it and uh, he was understandably very very sick for at least two days is my recollection um, and in that two days, I had a lot of conversations with this team. I won't say what they were. Surely. Um, but I Clueless. felt at that juncture very encouraged that everybody and myself were on the same page. And I felt encouraged that we were in a new chapter, that Good Johnny morning, had guys, finally hit rock bottom. I and know. finally, he felt like changing for good and I I felt buoyed you know supported by these conversations I was having with people that he was close to that he trusted good morning good morning, good morning. November 2013 did you have any contact with Lily Rose that led to any discussions with Mr. Depp objection leading what if any connection communications did you have with Lily Rose Good in November morning. 2013 objection calls your hearsay you leading I'd be up because I'm asking what I her connection was I didn't ask I'm what she said up. sustain and the objection you guys okay are up uh, I'm not up I'm gonna feel like I November 2013 uh, what if any uh, you up, interaction you did you here. have with Lily Rose without that saying that anything be, she said that would be objection so hearsay it's interaction, Your Honor. I'm not asking for what she said. If you can lay a foundation out. Okay. Did there come a, did there come a time in November 2013 that you saw Lily Rose? Yes, they came to stay with us for some time in the winter. Yeah, around November, I believe, 2013. When you said they, who are you referring to? Uh, Johnny's kids, okay. uh, Jack and Lily okay, Rose. Okay, guys. All right. And was there a, a particular confused. incident that led to why they keep uh, saying a, a disagreement today. with Mr. Depp on things that they didn't see before? Sustained. You know, what if any uh, interaction did you have with Lily Rose that led huh. to an argument with Mr. Depp? Objection leading that. What if any? Is my mic perfect. better now? Oh yeah, the music.
Did you have an morning, argument morning, with Mr. Depp relating to Lily Rose in November 2013? Yes. Can you please describe that? Well, he, I, I, I didn't, I was, I, I was, you know, these kids were. Thank you for the gifted sub. Among I found them to be these Thank beautiful, you. wildly intelligent little weirdos in the best way. You know, they were, I, I was falling in love with them. I made. And. An, observa an observation you know, they, they that I find very in my accurate. Life um, at that That's time, a short amount of time, but I, 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 I loved it, and I felt I started to feel very protective. And you know, uh, Johnny's sobriety meant that he was there, and then he wasn't. And the nature of our lives, with the travel and work, meant he was there, and then he wasn't. But I don't want to see Lily it Rose, while she's talking. At some point, um, had a, a crush on a on a you know objection hearsay. And lack of foundation. Okay. I'll overrule for them. Thank you. Please continue. This argument happened because the Johnny was. I, 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 I didn't agree again? that this gentleman. I don't understand. Uh, it was a, a famous musician uh, over the age of eighteen. Spent the night at the house, and I felt protective. Over Lily Rose and concerned. Aww. And naturally, they're, they're not, they were not my children. It's not my place. And I understand that. I know it's a sensitive subject, so I understand why Johnny got so upset with me. But that and the introduction of the weed with the his daughter, introduction she was so of young, the weed. I just felt protective. <laughs> Again, it's not my place. I, understand I don't disagree that. with her. I, mean, I just think the way it's worded is I, funny. I made him really angry. By the weighing weed. in on that. Okay. Did there come a time that there was a family engagement gathering? Well, we uh, celebrated Thanksgiving out in, in, in London. The kids were there. Uh, there was a, a stint of sobriety um, following how sick he got on on set with Paul Bettany um, I need to eat a little bit a, I'm a, sorry one of his drug binges and he kind of just came alive again you know um, he even like prayed a, played a prank on me uh, about having like relapsed when he what he hadn't relapsed you know it was I started to kind of feel that with the kids being around I kind of thought I did think that maybe this was it we were on a a good path meaning so to sobriety that this was it and our life was peaceful for a minute you know it was it went back to being wonderful there were these moments it just felt so wonderful. objection your honor non-responsive i'm gonna say my observation right now this whole morning I noticed she talks like the girl from Twilight, where she's like, ah, uh, and I, and, uh, and I just, I, uh, just think about it, let that live in your brain for a minute, and listen. Yes, Kristen Stewart. Just sustain the objection. Okay. Take us to the engagement. There was a Just think about it, bro. Uh, then, yes, come Christmas uh, of 2013, Johnny had um, rented this beautiful mansion in Malibu uh, on the beach. It was gorgeous. And he brought my family out, and his family was out, obviously, in L.A., and we stayed in this rented mansion, and... We're all together for the holidays, and uh, it, it, it went, it, one evening we were going to his mother's house. His mother, um, who you've heard about, uh, was old, uh, older and sick, but at home being cared Sad. for. And he, one, one evening we're going to have dinner, uh, Christmas dinner there with, with her around the time of her birthday as well. And my best friend said, you should Objection, really- Objection, hearsay. Sorry. 
wasn't offered to prove the truth of the matter, but but go ahead. Um, uh, go past that. What did you do? We went to Betty Sue's house, his mother's house, and Johnny proposed in front of our families in oh, this big that's you know, actually surprise, really cute. surprise me. Got down on one knee and like proposing and, privately and publicly. You know, I cried and hugged my mother and hugged his mother. That was a good objection. Think. He gave me this enormous diamond ring and <laughs> it was it was a nice Cheers, time. Johnny, okay. okay. I'm gonna take you into January, February two thousand fourteen. Um, you had as you employed a, a woman named Kate James, is that correct? Objection leading. Uh, what, if any, relationship did you have with Kate James? Uh, she was my assistant uh, at the time. Uh, I hired her sometime in 2012 and had as minimal uh, contact with her as I possibly could. So, and, oh why, my God. and why is that? Um, is this the PA that talked shit about her? <laughs> she was um, it, 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 a difficult, um, <laughs> troubled, and shit. inconsistent. I just drank on the job and stuff like that, and that it, her funny. behavior was objection relevance horrible. Uh, it, it, she's already terrible. testified. Kate James has testified, and I think mm -hmm. bias. Uh, she, we can. I'll right, allow that. Go ahead. Thank you. Okay. Um, it, it, Please describe for the jury These what your what, uh, uh, job responsibilities Kate had and how you communicated with her and, and kind of how that worked. We Objection had, compound. Uh, overruled. Thank you. We had minimal um, uh, on the uh, person to person today. interaction Last because time they didn't I was hardly like ever anything. in LA. So uh, if I was, surprised. I was there for a few days at a time and. Uh, Johnny and I kind of lived in this insular bubble anyway um, when we Objection, were together. Giga Chad. Uh, but we would send emails, uh, texts, and voice, a lot of voice memos, voice notes. Uh, and, you know, I want to hear them. I found that if I said, Kate, you know, you, you left the car running with your, your doors open and your kids in the car on the street, you Objection, need to move hearsay. It. She's not testifying. She's testifying about context. Sustained so, objection. Next question. All right. Oh, um, wow. I'm going to ask you to take a look at Defendant's Exhibit 209. Your Honor, I'm going to object on hearsay grounds. Throw out the whole Maybe. trial on hearsay. It's Bond. still hearsay. Can Ms. Hurd, did you, uh, uh, may I lay the foundation go ahead, go ahead. first? Yes. Ms. Hurd, uh, did you communicate with Kate James uh, by email in the ordinary course of your business? Yes, I did. Okay. And I'm going to ask you to take a look at Defendants Ooh, 209. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Is I want to see a weird a email. communication that I'm not was lie, the uh, between you and Kate James that was in the ordinary course of business as, really uh, with funny. her as an employee? Yes, it is. So, Your Honor, I'm going to move the admission of Defendant's Exhibit 209. And it made me want to like her. Business records exception. Still hearsay, Your Honor. Business record exception gets the business record, Anybody but it's hearsay. If there's hearsay involved inside the business record, that's, there's still objection to hearsay. Your Honor, the business records exception, I, 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 I mean, I don't. I... It's cantaloupe. I, I don't agree. I think that's the point that wanna, hearsay can. Approach. Mm, this mid cantaloupe. You know, cantaloupe should be sweet. This is half sweet. Yum, 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 yum. <laughs> well, that was a delicious breakfast. I'll finish sipping my matcha and then I'll be a real human being. Let me post on Instagram. Damn, the silence is deafening. Do you guys hear the static or is it just me? 
I've run out of things to do on an Instagram story. Like, I'm about to set down my phone and do a fucking backflip. Because, like, how many times can I do this? This. 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 Like, you know, I've run out of things. I've run out of things. I really should do a backflip. I can't do a backflip. But I can do a cartwheel. And that's kind of like a slow front flip. Think about it. <laughs> Radio. Oi, do this. <laughs> I should have done this. You're right, bro. I got a little bit of honey on my hand, and it's so sticky. What, if any, communications did you have with Kate James about your issues with Mr. Depp? Oh. Objection hearsay. Is it? Ms. James has testified. Which, which testified. I sustain the objection. <clears throat> All right. Well, we can take that down, Michelle. In the February, I'm going to jump to February, March 2016. What, if any, communications did you have with Mr. Depp about a prenup? Well, after the uh, after the engagement, but before the engagement party, God, I started so to um, I started to feel like it would make you know I know that he earned significantly more than me. He's a successful actor. I wanted to eliminate any doubt in, in his mind and in other people's minds, so I brought it up to him and brought it up to my therapist. Um, Objection hearsay. She's just saying that she brought it up to her therapist. She's not saying what she said. But please I'm focus on I'm not gonna lie, the Depp, lawyer's okay? being a little annoying. Um, Johnny said he They're would tear it up. They're objecting before something might even come, uh, if which I, is at like any said, fucking moment. I, if, I, if you ever brought one up to me, or if I ever saw one, got my hands on it, I'd tear it up. Only way out of this is death. Only way out of this is death. What are they referring to? And I, um, I, I thought it, I thought it would like. What? Oh, the I prenup. didn't care either way, but I did feel that it would eliminate suspicion or doubt, and it would make things easier. And I told him over and over again, you know, are you sure? Are you sure? Maybe, maybe we should do this. And he, Actually, that's interesting. one time he said to me, he's like, kid, are you already thinking of how you're getting out of this? Are you already planning to get out of this, kid? Damn. You already, you already planning on leaving? I really don't it like was, when people That was are, um, the same, it was around the same time as know, the moving in way. together conversation. Um, it was so, one, one I, he accused me of having one foot out. I just get the prenup. Um, and they kind of were happening around the same time. You know, I still had my apartment and just stay together. We're engaged now. Uh, he, uh, what do you guys think? Prenups, good, bad. Cause when someone's like, oh, so you're already thinking about how you're going to get out of this. It's like, you can have a prenup and then stay together forever. If you think that we will stay together forever, a prenup should not impact whether we stay together forever because me and you are the same human beings. If you really believe in this relationship, the prenup prior to the relationship ain't going to make a difference, is it? Outlogic, Pokimane one, people that don't want prenups, zero. <laughs> it was... <laughs> asking me to redecorate uh, and if people do change house, well then at least you have an out to the to the ECB building downtown where my best friend was living um, at this time uh, while the decorations and the, and the remodeling had been done on Sweetser and so these conversations were kind of happening about how to build our future together and how we were going to move forward together and uh, I you know um, I, I would have forgotten about the the extent that we had those conversations er, early on in the engagement if it hadn't have been for my therapist notes. I'm sorry, if it hadn't been for your what? 
if it hadn't been for my therapist's notes, oh. uh, which were okay. taken at the time when I was talking to her about this and my conversations with Objection Don. hearsay. Okay. I'll we'll sustain move, the objection. We'll move on. Okay. Let's take it to March 2014. Did guys? there come a time there was an engagement I'm very party? Good at Yes, so, um, I, but yeah, it was March uh, 2014. Please describe for the jury. We had uh, an engagement party and we decided that when we did get married, we'd have a small wedding, you know, something intimate. But, uh, you know, our lives were kind of big. His life was extremely big. Uh, and we needed to incorporate, we wanted to have a bigger engagement party than a wedding you know and kind of get our guests in our family our friends and have a big a big event of it as opposed to making the wedding something that was big and you know um, Diet so we James kind of put it on the engagement dollars. party and had if you need the treat of losing money to keep a, a relationship bunch of people a lot of That's friends business acquaintances uh, a, a lot of family of i had all of my family friends and my childhood friends True? come out for it True. I even invited true my facts. therapist. It was, you know, a big, a big event. Okay. Very true. And describe what took place at the engagement party. Uh, well, we walk in together and we took some pictures and said a few hellos. And then Johnny disappeared upstairs uh, in, I guess it's like a coat room. Don't. Something was in a big uh, um, abandoned building. Guys, I think I've made a masterpiece. Rented out for events. And he had disappeared upstairs. Um, almost the entire party, I would say. Uh, it was kind of. I find this came man's face end, so fascinating. Um, we were leaving I was like, and I came need down to once, draw it. Uh, because he was at the time I sharing drugs with my dad. Objection. Perfection. Thank you, Speculation. Sweetie. Thank Lack of you. foundation. How do you foundation. know that he was sharing drugs with your His dad? His face is I was there. so fascinating. I watched it. Is that him for her? <laughs> Please continue. Um, my dad. <laughs> At the time, was hold on. Uh, Let on me the turn scene. it into Amber Heard. It doesn't take much. Who's addicted to the same thing Johnny was? There we go. And so my dad had um, either my dad ran out or Johnny ran out. I can't <laughs> recall which of the two. Ooh, ran I should have saved that and sold a, it as an NFT. You know, Ugh. they they needed Where's more. Where's my ruthless businesswoman essence? Uh, had to leave the party. My dad actually left with Johnny's security to go get more drugs oh, from objection calls college. for speculation he's how do you know that on a table uh, they told me uh, hearsay sustained the objection okay and um they left mm -hmm. to go whatever and then they came back with drugs and everything was okay in terms of the the withdrawal symptom of the i don't know what you call it at that point but uh he still um stayed upstairs and Are when you referring to, to mr depp Yes, I am. Okay. Uh, so continue. shortly after that, I tried to get Johnny to come downstairs, um, mm. and he just snapped at me, just verbally um, told me to shut the fuck up. <laughs> and uh, shut the fuck up. Sorry, she said snapped at me <laughs> verbally, and it's like, did you think we meant this? <laughs> I uh, have not slept enough. <laughs> I. I remember t talking to my mom about the irony of it. Okay. We were in an engagement party. Uh, but it, that was a pretty, that was pretty much it for the engagement party. I went downstairs and he said to, that poem was fired. Took pictures and put on a face and, you know, went about my evening. All right. Take you to May 2014, the Met Gala. Uh, could you please tell the jury what a Met Gala is and what's involved in that? Objection compound. Oh, rolled off. Uh, Met Gala is a big event, annual event, Bro, uh, celebrity lawyer, event his uh, in lawyers? York. It's a fashion event, but it's, it's just a major red carpet event. They on they shit today. And you have to be invited, and it's kind of um, a thing. You know, and we were invited that year. And I, uh, I had already gone for the previous year or two, uh, and this year we were going to go together. And at some point in the evening, we're sitting across the table, and Johnny starts asking me about this woman. Um, he thought I was looking at this woman in a sexual way, and I kind of turned it around on him and said, that it's actually hearsay. All right. It's context, Your Honor. This is context. Sustained objection. Okay. Just say what Mr. Depp said then. I guess you can't tell us what you said to him. Okay. Uh, he was accusing me of flirting, and that's how the argument started. I, I don't recall what other accusation that I was fielding at that moment, but typically in my experience with him, it wasn't just one. Uh, so you'd make a point, and then he would what go on to is... a different accusation. Um, but I remember that what started it is this accusation that I had been flirting at this event. Uh, we get back to the hotel room, um, and Johnny shoves me and kind of grabs me by the collarbone area, like not really my neck, but top of my neck, uh, top of my above my collarbone, below my neck. Um, 
I, I think at that point when we were still in the living room, I shoved him back. But I can't, I, I don't really recall um, I, too many specifics. I remember he threw a bottle at me. It missed me, but it broke the chandelier. And at some point, I remember, um, maybe this was the shove that I was talking about, but at some point... I swear when you go to X and, and you go back to at normal some point, speed, it's I remember, actually slower. Um, Maybe this I'll keep it at normal speed. It's just because I paused. The shove I that I was snapping. talking about. But at some point, uh, Johnny and I are in a struggle in the living room. And he kind of like shoves me down on the sofa. And I get up and I'm trying to get him off of me. And it's just stronger than me. I don't know how else to describe it. And at some point, he just whacks me in the face. And I had not, at the time, been, a, like, I didn't. I think that was the first time I was like, is this a broken nose? At the time, I was unsure what that feeling was, um, but I suspected I had a broken nose. Doc, doctor visit, and doctor visit. And other than that, I was relatively unscathed. Doctor visit, uh, doctor but visit. But I remember my nose being swollen, discolored, red. A photo, photo, doctor visit. And uh, I took a there picture no of my face. There's no fucking way you have a nose as some cute point, as this. And joke about it to my friend. And you don't take a photo when it implodes. Hell, the objection here, say. All right. It was not for to prove the truth of the matter. Uh, yeah, yeah. I'll sustain the objection. Okay. Okay. Just don't say what you talk, what you told I don't, a friend. Okay. Like, it's almost like okay. I don't want to not believe um, her, but like, please let's give us something. Let's take you to or anything. Uh, the Adderall Diaries. When did you start filming the Adderall Diaries? believe what is the Adderall May. I filmed Bro, another there's movie there's literally nothing there was no evidence York, to back that up Mar March April April May I went straight from that movie to another movie uh, independent film with <gasps> James Franco the one I had previously shot was with Christopher Walken <gasps> that's right okay so I went from one to the other I just want to see um, any evidence on Johnny either side these you know, in between, like if I got a long weekend or, you know, I'd fly home to be with him and then fly back. It was kind of like that. Fly back from where? Where were you filming those? In New York. Okay. And where was Mr. Depp at that time? I don't Johnny know. Like, why would you take LA a photo of the, the time, smallest and scratch on your cheek and then your nose breaks for and you his don't movie, take a photo Black of that? Mass in Boston. You don't go see a doctor. So you were in you New don't... York and Mr. Depp was in Boston? At some point Eventually, in, in by May 2014. That's All right. it. All right. And what, if any, discussions uh, or arguments did you have with Mr. Depp relating to James Franco in that time frame of May 2014? Have you guys seen that clip of them in the elevator together? Dun, dun, dun. It's kind of funny because the captions are always like, she's cheating. Um, and it's like them getting in an elevator together. <laughs> I don't not believe it, but also they're just in an elevator. <laughs> I w wanted to do this independent no, film. No, I Do you guys want me to pause and show liked you? Liked the story. I liked the character. I, you know, told him I'm not gonna wear makeup in the thing. Objection but... hearsay. Mm, it's so split. I, I, apparently, I'll put it on the side. Mr. Ryan, if you could approach, please. I almost typed in elevator. This is... So she gets into an elevator at the penthouse places that Johnny is paying for. She gets out, she gets James. They get in, in the elevator together and then they stand very closely together. I know that's like cuddling. He puts her his head on her and she puts his head on her. And the rest, I'll leave it up to your imagination. <laughs> the rest, mm, a mystery. Did you guys see that photo on um, Twitter? <laughs> that was like, Ludwig and Pokimane are the lawyers for this <laughs> trial. And it was this girl, I think. I love this suit of hers. This is the girl that they said was me. <laughs> That was a funny photo. Kick. She's hot. She knew me. So, I tell just the jury know what at Mr. the end of this, Depp Johnny's said. gonna have the most beautiful little masterpiece painting. He was that he's gonna mad show at me us. 
for taking the job with James Franco. He hated, hated James Franco. Um, that why you fucked him? Already Just accusing kidding, I have no proof of that. Me of well, he put his head on his shoulder. secretly having a thing with him in my past Before since marriage. we had done Pineapple Express together. <laughs> I just know, like, this so whole relationship So I'm going to take you to the through. Boston plane uh, incident. We've heard about that earlier, May 24. Can you please describe for the jury what took place on May 24 uh, relating to the plane incident? For legal well, reasons, I, that was a joke, by the way. I had spoken to Johnny. You know, he's in Boston. I'm in New York. <laughs> I keep saying that forever. And I spoke to him. He had already been upset with me and accused me in a, a drop of like, nuts joke many in arguments say, about for not reasons, <laughs> telling him about scenes that I had, if I had a kissing scene, any sort of romantic scene. Well, you know that that was And I wasn't him. explicit about what I was going to do. Then I was accused of having withheld information and hiding it from well, him. Well, when you know that it's so, going to upset him... Like, yeah. I didn't want the yeah. fight, of course. I didn't want the argument. Yeah, uh, the but I had to kind of eggshell tiptoe like, around how to tell I him. I don't want you to do this. When I had any sort of and scene like that. If you don't tell and them, I did yeah, you're kind of tell him in this occasion. You. Objection, hearsay. Take, we need to stay with what Mr. Depp said. Okay? Okay. So he was upset with me. Um, but he didn't sound coherent so much on the phone. He was yelling at me about how could you, how could you tell me this? How could you tell me this when I'm filming, when I have this scene that I'm doing? How could you tell me this when I'm working? Gradually, Obviously, though, I couldn't tell him any other time because law. we were both filming. And I told him as soon as it was relevant. And you know. But he kept saying, how could you tell me this? How could you just tell me this? Uh, and... It was like I had told him I was having an affair or something, you know, it was that angry at me. But he kind of started to sound less connected to reality as these like I'm arguments would happen on the phone. This he was is in one day. Also Eventually, not taking kisses, kissing he kisses. He hangs himself. up on me in the conversation, screaming, screaming at me. Um, I talked to his assistants, I won't say what they said, but I had conversations and felt encouraged that I could continue on with the plan, which was for me to get on the plane, go to Boston, the plane. pick him up, and we would go back to LA for his daughter's birthday. Bro, was she acting this whole relationship? Um, I was nervous because the conversation I had had with him, and he was so upset with me on that conversation, but I figured he, I assumed he had passed out and that he would have been kind of sobered up the next day, assuming that the work would mean that he felt pressured to, to kind of pull it together. another observation. And I uh, get on the plane. He sent the plane, so I assumed he's not that mad at me. <laughs> he's over it. We're moving on. I should have said it like up. this. Mm -hmm. um, there had oh, been damn, a lot of talk like, oh. about a sober plan. like The plan? Sounds like she's had a plan this whole relationship. Was she acting during the whole relationship? Like a full detox, a full recovery, a doctor, a whole plan. You know, there were talks of that following what had happened in London. So <laughs> I was feeling like, okay, well, maybe we're here. And I get on the plane. It touches down and the SUV pulls up and it sits on the tarmac for a very long time. But I've been I was on the plane waiting much. for him. So I kind of started to anticipate that things weren't as I hoped, meaning that he was over and had slept it off. And I get, I mean, I'm sitting on the plane for a very long time waiting for him. And he finally opens the door and I see him get out of the SUV and I can guess by how he's moving, how he's walking. I didn't realize at the time I had already been, become really sensitive to these little changes. Um, because my life changed depending on what he was on. And he gets on the plane and I uh, I just knew in every cell of my body something was wrong. And he comes straight up to me, doesn't say anything to me, but is looking at me. He's got these glasses on and he takes them oh, off in this kind of aggressive manner and sits down across from me, not in the usual spot. I do feel an alt coming um, on too. We kind of have our 
places on, on his plane, you know, where you get used to sitting. And he, I remember I got up and moved to accommodate him getting by so he could sit in the normal seat as per usual. He didn't, he sat across from me. At some point, and I don't really remember the exact sequence of it, <laughs> we take off and at some point he he's asking me why, what's wrong with me, what do I have, do I have something to tell him, do I have something to tell him, you want to talk to me about your day yesterday. And then it gets, Thanks, I, I, I already know that he's drunk, um, I already know he's using, um, he reeks of weed and alcohol, I mean his breath smelled so bad and I could <laughs> Hey yo you ain't gotta slander him like that bro <laughs> I, I could anticipate that there was a, a no win situation shit. here. There was no little me puff, puff, talking puffs. myself out of this or talking him down or any chug, chug. you know a, a lot of my Did arguments and my involvement in them <laughs> it, it, are, are me trying to <laughs> diffuse by explaining or like, yeah, yeah, I do smell like we <laughs> she's telling the story. Your Honor, I I'll sustain an objection if that's part. Good. Okay. So he um, is asking me questions, and I know to not engage. Uh huh? Uh, I was polite. I made sure to answer minimal amount of, you oh know. Oh my gosh, she sounds like she's the talking minimal to his amount boss that I could. Boss. I moved slowly. I was trying to be polite, but not engage because there was no win and he kept going, Literally kept bullshit. asking me. Eventually he went from, do you have something to tell me to you want to tell me how much you liked it? Tell me, did he slip a tongue? It got worse and worse, just more. It went from asking me about how my kissing scene went or how the sex scene went to asking me what James Franco had done in the scene to being really explicit about my body, you know, he was talking about my, he was saying huh? really disgusting things about my body, about huh? how I liked it, huh? how I responded. Huh? And then he started huh? ta just straight up taunting huh? me. I, I know you liked it. He called me a go-getter. Um, what you getting? He called me Girl, what you going to get? In front, huh? And also huh? this is happening with security and his assistance on the plane. And I remember I felt, I, I don't, I don't, I struggle to, to be able to tell you how, how embarrassed I was because he was speaking to me in front of people in this way, asking me if I liked it and if I was wet and, you know, why I wasn't looking at him and that was proof. I wasn't looking at him. That was proof that I, that I was asking for it. Did I ask James to do this and this to Can me? And verify? how about if he uh, does um, those things to me, ex insert sexually explicit descriptions of what he. Tell us. Accuse me of I wanna know. wanting or deserving. And it's, I, at I'm some not point gonna in lie. this, get up. And moved to the front it's of the plane. I remember getting up this, so slowly. Knowing she did. I didn't want to aggravate him. You know? I didn't want to give him any excuse to pounce on. I didn't the want to upset yet, him. Guys. I didn't up, want I him think, to flip a switch and I get worse. I didn't want. I just remember very slow movements, and I slowly get up and move to the front of the plane, and he starts oh, throwing things at me: ice cubes, utensils. He's calling me a, um, a go-getter and then an embarrassment. Talking about what an embarrassment I am. God, that sounds like such a grandpa I don't thing. know how many times I moved Throwing seats. I wish cubes. I did. Hold I don't. I remember moving more than once. And Johnny came go to me it. each time. Not the other way around. He sits down in front of me at one point And because I'm not answering him. I was looking out of the window I saw two and he at the slaps same my time. face. Say tears question Extra mark. Bumblebee and tips. and Thank you for inspiring me to scream smile. Oh, you're so is welcome. in our proximity. Who? And I it, it didn't hurt my it didn't hurt my face. It just felt embarrassed. Did you do that to me in front of people? Okay, there it is. 
it was the first time that anything like that had happened in front of somebody. <laughs> Stop. I got up to move again, and he's just taunting me, having a laugh, screaming, and then just straight up mean, calling me names. And it was oscillating between those things. And I get up slowly again, and I just resolve to just sit the rest of the time up at the front of the plane. Whoa. And as I get up, he kind of kicks the swivel chair into my hip, or kind of the just way hits me. She describes things is so and I look at him, literally every and he asks me, "What? What are you going to do about it?" Of others that we, we had. Uh, I just but stared to be at fair, him. They are all employees I just of Johnny, stared so. at him and wanted him to see me. I wanted to get through to him. Listen, I know she's low key, high key. She's high key missing evidence. I will take a single tear as a piece of evidence at this point. I just want to see one. Didn't feel there was like, I, it felt like Hand there was a blackness over. in his eyes. I wanted to look at him. I wanted him to see me. It didn't even feel like him. If you ain't got the text, give me a and tip. Crypto Nax underscore tipped $2. Bro. Objection As hearsay. I'm walking away, <laughs> slowly Objection trying hearsay. not to be, I was being very deliberate about my movements. Wasn't saying anything. I wasn't engaging. I am walking away from him slowly and he tells me to hurry the fuck up. Hurry up. Sorry. And I just look at him one more time. Not funny. I was laughing wanting at something to else. penetrate the monster to see the man oh. that I love underneath that. The man I love. And he tells me to hurry up again. And I pull my gaze away from him. I walk away from him. My back is turned to him and I feel this boot in my back. He just kicked me in the back. I fell to the floor, I caught myself on the floor and I just felt like I was looking at the uh. floor of the plane for a, felt like a long time. And I, I, didn't, I, I thought to myself, I don't know what to do. I can't believe he just, did he just kick me? No one said anything. No one did anything. It was like you could hear. Bro, what you did hear you imagine? It? No PM. You could feel the tension, but no one did anything. And I just remember feeling so, <gasps> He's so embarrassed. Hold it in, Johnny. Hold so it in. embarrassed that he could hold kick me to the ground in. in front of people. And uh, more embarrassing, I didn't know what to do about it. I got up and I just I walked to the front of the plane. I sat down. Hold it in, bro. And I just looked out of the window. And Jerry Judge security and he held it. He held my it. My friend, both kind of under their breath, asked me, "Are you okay?" Objection! And, like, hearsay. Mm. I spent the rest of the time looking out of I'll the window. Stay the objection. Yeah. And did there come a time that you tape recorded mr depp on this plane oh evidence i want to sit here and say coming. that i was it's almost there just one drop like surely it's about to happen i was telling myself i Is needed to leave him i see <laughs> She can't possibly hold but it in anymore. Pause champ, as he got cry, worse, champ, he mind. demanded she the oxygen tank from the um, flight attendant. <laughs> flight attendant, <laughs> excuse me. Um, Is that a twinkle? <laughs> and he continued to drink and then eventually um, started howling like an animal <laughs> and passed out in the bathroom. Sorry. I'm trying to give you guys locked. like a reenact. Uh, and Excellent. was howling, and I, I, at some point, the was to be phone because like Bella when oh! Edward said he was leaving there was that 5% part yes. of me. I, I, Objection, non-responsive. Montreux 98 tip $2. Objection. Some of these are what lines led up from to her movies. tape recording him and why? I mean, I'll just, I mean, I can ask her, okay. well, that's all. But all right. why, why did you tape record him? Because I knew that Johnny wouldn't remember what he had done. I knew he would not remember. And if... Calls for speculation. 
Huh? She can say she can say what she, why she did it and what she thought. But that did, that last part called for speculation. Don't, don't say I knew. Uh, um, why I did you thought. tape record? In my experience, when Johnny was that inebriated, inebriated, I love he would that not word. remember what he had done. Calls for speculation. I, how can that call for speculation? I, I'll sustain the objection. Not gonna lie, his lawyers are a pop. Right. Let's go to defendants two twenty one. Two hundred bits to be fair. Sometimes and then they played so three different parts for it. Not sure if you have yes, seen this, but the current Dana, lawyer of Alaska was caught notes. being a Johnny You're fan. only left with the trauma, and I really want to give I'm her so the benefit sorry. of the doubt, I'm but so this sorry. does happen, and it's very real. I'm so sorry. Maelstrom Wolf tipped two dollars. A plane full of people saw him roundhouse kick her in the back of the head. <laughs> Can we get a witness or two? No? Huh? <laughs> It wasn't a plane full of people, to be fair. It was, like, employees of theirs. Um, to be fair, sometimes I'm crying so much there's really no tears left to cry. I did quote Ari. <laughs> no tears left to cry. But on a serious note, you're only left with the trauma. I really want to give her the benefit of the doubt that this does happen. It's very real. I know. I agree. But I think because there have been so many things that, like, she either didn't really express properly or, like, sort of lied or, like... Even the donation stuff I thought was pretty messed up. Um, just a lot of things that kind of ruined her credibility. And I'm still willing to give it to her because these are really difficult situations. Like if you are actually um, physically abused Excellent by your partner. Will be tipped I just need Sorry, but we evidence, get a That's tear, hearsay. anything. You can't speak for them. They're not present. Yep. A plane full of episodes on... Oh, sorry, not this. Objections from this one. What is this? Open! Amber Heard's lawyer is Johnny's fan. I don't fucking know any of these people. So I'm we're so going confused. to start with 221... And we're going to call it A, and that'll be zero it? through one minute. Mm. To be fair, I don't even know what he looks like, so. <laughs> mm. Oh, it's the lady. Okay, sure. <laughs> oh, the old lady. Oh my god, bro. It is really hard to tell old women apart. Old ladies. Not even just old women. When you say old lady, like you're imagining something specific. You know what I mean? It's not an old woman. It's an old lady. <laughs> hey, I mean, they all be high-key cute. You can't as a real be. Sky Loveston cheered 200 bits. What salt mean? <laughs> Uh, what's alt mean okay so it's like ultimate ability of a character it's like your the first one was zero strength. to one minute and for her it's just, when she really i mean there's part of it that the noise emotions are at an all-time high loud, but she's really just to be able to pick expressing up herself someone else explain it I agree with this. We can discuss this in a second. And the second one is from 250 to 320. 30 seconds. Why did we 
have to listen to that. Is already like in evidence. Evidence. So may I play the third one then, and then yes. we can take the break? Yes. Thank you. you. Play, that would be it. You can play all of it if you'd like. That's fine. <laughs> I think they'll torture the jury if I do that, Your Honor. Uh, Nine thirty to to ten. Just thirty seconds more. questions for this issue? No, no, <laughs> Basically. Okay. All right. Ladies and gentlemen, let's go ahead and take our morning break then. Just do not do any outside research and don't discuss the case with anybody. That's crazy. All right. <clears throat> break time. How long is a morning break? Oh, fuck. Sorry. I'm in my pajamas. Sorry. I ripped out my headphone cord. All right, thank you. And again, ma'am, since you're still testifying, don't discuss your testimony with anybody at this point, okay? All right, so let's just come back at, let's make it 11.42. All right, 11.42. Thank you, Your Honor. Girl, you need a stylist. What it, what? Are you? The first lady? Is that what you call the president's wife? I'm not American. I don't fucking know. Go in a church. Girl. It, it's fucked up because, like, we know you are an attractive woman in her 30s. And you don't normally dress like that. So for you to dress so differently is odd. Is that just me? It's like, yeah, you don't have to wear a Met Gala dress, but it's so far from, you know? I know it's court, guys. But it's fugly. Like, I, you know, it makes me feel for her. That's what she wants! <gasps> oh, I fucking get it now. Oh, I get it. Oh. oh. Okay. Oh, my God. 1854 called. They want their dress back. That's what I mean. Okay. You got, I couldn't fully see it when she is sitting because this looks kind of normal, right? But then she gets up. Who did that to you? Who missed? I kn the belt especially too far. You should be taken to court for that fucking belt. Is that why you're here? <laughs> Is that why you're here, bro? Anyways, someone said, say what you will about Amber Heard, but the power dynamic an established actor like Depp made with a 23-year-old starting actress is very gross. I find it hard to see either of them as good people in this trial, both abusive in their own ways. I completely agree. I think a lot of the stuff that he did was very fucked up. The dynamic from the start is messed up. All of this kind of like, um, 
possessive oh my god last stream i was saying protective but i meant possessive all of this like possessive toxic bs i still think is bad but did he hit her we have yet to find substantial evidence she was not 23 25 27 i don't know i just remember for a long time people were saying johnny depp gets older but his partners stay the same age <laughs> and i was like 12 like whoa what does that mean <laughs> you know was that just me i saw how this shit like that <laughs> she was like 22 on god i do not know oh my god is that leo Anyway, so the weather, eh? The, the weather, eh? Uh, you believe her. There's no proof. You believe her. There's no proof. Oh, my God. I really thought you, like, wrote something substantial. You just wrote the same thing over and over. Listen, I'm not... I didn't even say I believed her. However, some of the things that she details, like him being uncomfortable with kissing scenes and this and that, I could believe. We'll hear if she decides to, or if he decides to refute any of those things. But I think those are things like, I, I mean, there are, oh, I need to sneeze. That's gone. Anyways. That's something that has happened to me personally. I have seen guys behave that way towards me and they were in their 20s. So imagining a guy who's like even older, comes from a very different generation. I can imagine them behaving that way. So I don't not believe it. But if he has some way to refute it, you know, what pissed me off the most was like the juiciest shit him breaking her nose, um, some of the texts that were sent back and forth. Nothing. Nada. No evidence. Wellu. Rien. I don't even know how to say nothing in other languages, but I think five is enough. Like, sia bueno. Bien. Como esta. Well, nothing. But her lying about the makeup line, that's how I knew she is lying about so much more shit. What is this? What is lying about the makeup line? Yeah, she has this evidence of drugs. None of the texts, though, and no photos of her nose being broken. I think overall it was just an extremely toxic relationship. Agreed, and they were both abusive in their own ways. But with that said, I think Johnny still has more evidence in his favor for this case. I'm still waiting to see. Oh, yeah, I... Wait, did she say that she used a specific brand? I saw that TikTok. I think most of you, most of us did. I'd love to know what her definition of hitting is since yesterday she said it didn't hurt when he hit her. And also before an evidence, she said, I did not punch you. I was hitting you. No, I think she said I didn't hit you. I slapped you, right? Yeah, I do recall this. I wonder if... She got the brand mixed up with something else. But then in that case, like, bitch, don't say the brand. No, she said hit. I didn't, I didn't punch you. I hit you. Like, what the hell kind of a differentiation is that? <laughs> well, I guess, like, open versus closed fist. Does her friend also not have the photo? Oh, the observation I wanted to point out. Listen up, y'all, because this is it. The beat that I'm banging is delicious. 
I say that so much. It's just such a banger song. It's ingrained in my brain. Anyways, did you guys notice during certain random parts of her testimony, she will switch from speaking in the past tense to speaking in the present tense? Por qué? Is it because she's actively telling a story when she's speaking in the present tense? Is it because she's trying to add emphasis? And then he, no wait, and he hit me and I was crying. I don't really know. Surely very, very, it does give a very rehearsed feel. But I don't want to write off the bat say rehearsed means for sure false. It is, it is very... Very rehearsed, though. She sounds like she's writing a pretentious book when she describes the violence, not like she's giving testimony. It's so odd. Actually, you're so right. It very much sounds like a book. This world when romance and we fell in love. <laughs> Fuck, bro. <laughs> I hate to say it, like, I don't want to judge the way someone speaks, but goddamn is not not really appealing to listen to. Again, I'm not saying it's inherently, like, false what she's saying. Audio book very detailed. When I was a kid, I did rehearse a lie to tell my mom. Yeah, that usually how it works. Ooh, true. I'm going to try that. <laughs> Fall asleep. I just hate that a lot of people are holding on to this to defend abused doers like Marilyn Manson. I don't know if this is a hot take, but I think regardless of how this trial goes and her mistakes, I think we should still believe victims. I think we should also believe evidence if it comes out. I think you should hear things out generally but i i still think it is a bad thing to do to ha to like hear someone say that they went through something traumatic or was abused and for you to immediately refute that if there's reason to refute it you will be given that reason and then you know you could make a differing opinion at that point but like right off the bat i think if anything it's more like etiquette sometimes people try to add more details that don't mean as much to improve the story and make it more believable this is always okay you guys know when you do like two truths one lie they always tell you to make a lie believable add a very very specific detail have you guys heard that before that's like the trick the trick Hmm. Hmm. <laughs> Yo, my chat is going over the <laughs> the wow counter. We still got one. That was a big one. You know, like that wow counter, that was something. But if you overspecify, it becomes sussy too. True. At the end of the day, nothing beats a good little bit of evidence. Even a tear, bro. One. Come on. I will mark that down as evidence. I'm trying to I'm I'm trying to be nice here. I'm trying to be considerate. Considerate. If she cries, people say it's fake regardless, though. <laughs> True, but I think it's worse not to cry at all. It's the lesser of two evils. I mean, I saw a couple of you guys question marking, but yeah. I feel like typically when people give. Please correct me if I'm wrong. This is, again, what I've seen in like 
documentaries read in books etc cetera, etc cetera. i feel like sometimes when people give a very genuine um retelling of trauma that they've gone through it isn't abnormal for them to like tear up like i think those are very hard things to talk about again this is not like a 100 percent type of thing like not every single person but i think pretty often like it, it's very common so for her not to do something that's common it obviously goes to show like oh well not goes to show but it's not helping her ultimately But they don't remember specific details like she is. I think it sometimes, I think it can depend. Ed Grund score cheered 200. She not out of mana, but Emo, she do be out of tears. to make a good case, she needs to bring in the witnesses she describes in her yes! testimony. Like the people in the plane Witnesses, saw, but didn't photos, do videos. Bro, all she gave us was Johnny Depp going, ah, which... Like, am I the only one who listened to that? And I low-key felt bad, like, for him. Not even for Snacker her. Snacker66 tipped $3.89. I was the like, way oh my god, it must be so her embarrassing. The to the jury yesterday was like, so cringe. Mm. Like she was explaining love to people who had never been in love. I know! I think that kind of pissed me off because it felt a little belittling like you think you're the only person who's ever been in love you think like other people just wouldn't in understand the love you guys had because you read books together <laughs> like... <laughs> bro we get it <laughs> like I'm not gonna lie, it, the narcissism does come out a little bit because I don't think she realizes that w the way she talks sounds very condescending. I know you guys have never felt love like we have, so like you just wouldn't understand, but he bought me gifts and we bonded over wine and we went to all these mansions across the world. Like, listen, just because your love resided in a mansion doesn't mean it's it's not love like like us peasants feel at home. <laughs> we may not have mansions in every country, but we still have strong love and the island. Yeah, the island that he owned. He owned. <laughs> us peasants, copium. You get what I'm saying? To them. So then I'm still a peasant. Okay, high key. They kept talking about this like penthouse thing. So I was, you know, I was on my Google game. I was researching like a scientist on Google <laughs> about this penthouse. It's like, oh my God, he has a penthouse in downtown. Turns out he owns like three, four or five on the same floor. And I saw an article where he decided to sell one for $12 million. And I saw this article a few days ago. And then I was like, damn, 12 mil mansion. That's crazy. He's got five of them shits. He has a $50 million floor in an apartment complex. Do you know how insane that is? That's money I can't think of. I know, right? And it's even weirder. Wishful and tip two can't do his taxes Imagine right. Lily Rose storms into court last minute to testify. I'd be here for it. I'd be here for it. It was all very odd. My Cook Nugget tipped five dollars. Hey Pokimane, sorry I have watched you for a long time through others' channels and seen clips of you. I am late to the Twitch party but I've seen you grow over the years. It's been a long journey and I'm happy to see where you are Thank at now. Thank you. Love Nugget Smile. Someone said he must be broke to sell it. If you own five mansions and an island and numerous other things, you're not broke. You just don't have much liquidity. All your money is tied up in assets. So you have to sell it, not because you're broke, but again, because you don't have any liquidity. Meaning you don't have like 
cash that you can access easily. You have a house. <laughs> Those are two very, very different things. Bro, I should be a lawyer. Demon Balero 2 one cheered 500 bits. I know what her shirt reminds me of. Huh. A cloth dinner napkin with the napkin ring. Cruts 2 tipped $2. Johnny off the dubberk in those audio clips. It's just a chemise. Billy tipped four dollars and twenty cents. Did you see this part of her testimony where she quotes a movie verbatim when describing Johnny? No way. No way. That can't be real. I'm trying to make sure my DMs don't pop up. Monka. Amber Heard. The thing with Johnny. It's like the sun shines on you and it's glorious and then he forgets you and it's very, very cold. When you have his attention, you feel like you're the only person in the world. That's why everybody loves him so much. The thing with Dickie, it's like... Wait, did she actually say this? But I will cut off my hand before I reach for you again. He said I'd rather cut my hand off than ever lay it on you or lay it upon you. Drink tea. There's lots of tea. But like lots of tea. Like lots of tea. Well, what happened here? Whoa, what happened here? Simon made me feel like the most beautiful woman in the world. But like when I was around Johnny, I felt like the most beautiful person in the whole world. Oh, you think I mean, some of these are kind of whatever. You think it's funny, bitch. But I will cut off my hand before I reach for you again. This one I find I find sus. That that one, but the other ones are like common things that are said. I want to see the clip for this. Cuz I don't recall her saying that actually. They're back. Okay. I don't recall her saying this. Can anyone find that? She didn't say it, right? She said it. Mm, I don't think she said it. Because think about it. If she said it, you know there'd be a clip of it. She did? Amber Heard. Glorious. Glorious. Gl glorious. Sun shines on you. I think she said it. Can someone link it? A Phoenakist tipped two dollars and thirty-four cents. Sub pokey, early stream pog lovers. How have you been feeling about having a more consistent yeah, stream if she schedule said like it... a couple months ago? Do you still feel a stagnation in motivation and content? Any content that kind of piqued your interest? This I find this really interesting and fun to watch with you guys. But, um, and I mean, I always like playing Valorant. Not too, too much aside from that. Time high. Wow, but She's really just to be able to pick expressing up herself. Damn, bitch, that's a lot of static. Oh! <laughs> no! 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 Oh, no! Oh, and the podcast. The podcast too. The podcast, too. guys. She did not say that shit word for word. There'd be All a right, clip. Let's There'd be a go clip. to two oh five. Defendants two oh five. But I do think, guys, you're saying she did, but like, show me. Is that correct? That's correct. Okay. Objection. Hearsay. Also, I think maybe she said something similar. At the end of the day, though, I do think she kind of 
how do I say this? She views things like it's an actual movie and she's the protagonist. And if she has watched other movies, like that's kind of how she views her life. Does that make sense? It's weird. Main character syndrome, but in a bad way. I'm looking through this person's Twitter. Kratz 2 tipped $2. I'm Why sorry, did they play two minutes of plain noise with 10 seconds of Johnny moaning as evidence? Uh, bitch, I don't know. And she said, yeah, he broke my nose. He did this. He did that. And you made us listen to him. Ah. Hmm. I'm not so angry, though the interest is clear, and I did nothing of the kind. What she's spouting off about, man, you were there. I lied to everyone about what happened to my finger. I had to protect her. She truly is, as you once said, bordering personality. She needed to be angry about something. I left her that night because she got physically physical and wanted to take a few choice swats of me. She's still fucked up, and as such, as I still love her, I will never allow her to look me in the eyes again. My mom passed away. Amber fucking died. Two of five with redactions is in evidence. Yeah. Thank you, Your Honor. May we publish to the jury? Thank you. It is. So, <laughs> Rocky on this is Rocky Pennington, your best friend, is that correct? Yes, it is. Okay. And when did you send this communication to Rocky? <laughs> Once I had touched down in LA. Bro, nobody clipped it, um, though. And, and you said, I'm not good. What did you mean by that? That I needed help. Okay. That I was scared. I was scared of what had just happened to me. I was scared of what was going to happen to me. I swear I it didn't happen. If I left him, I was scared if I didn't. And I needed help. I just needed support. And I couldn't. You know, I didn't feel was, safe going was, home. I still had my place in Orange. He had keys. It was. Um, I'm so sorry. I really want to know if she actually I said this or if people are just believing it to believe felt it. Felt like this man knew me and saw me in a way that no one else had. I felt he understood me. I felt he understood where I came from. I, I felt like I felt that like when I was around Johnny, I felt like the most beautiful person in the whole world. It's Tanaka not this bit, huh? you know, you just two dollars. Okay, yeah, my Mr. Ripley quote debunked. <laughs> like. I'm it's painful for me to see did people believe things with your zero your proof when the proof would be say, easy to it? find. Uh, did you, what if any communication did you have with your mother or your father following this incident? Objection hearsay. Um, let's, go to, let's go to defendants 222 and oh, yeah, I, I suspect we're going to be back up. Right, right, you you Thank you. I'll be back. Tell me if I miss anything. Oh my gosh, she put the glasses on! What did I miss? She looks like Quaker Oats' wife. Wife, wife, wife. Uh, what if any? Communications did you have with Kate James following the Boston That's plane? That's a stop, LMAO, from Objection, me. Objection, hearsay. Your Honor, I, I, 
if we go to 224. That's a fucking stop LMAO for me, dude. My argument would be business records <laughs> exception. All right, you want to come forward and do it? Now, what in the absolute world is this? <laughs> it's not a I can't, it's a we can't. <laughs> oh my god, there's so many of them. I am overwhelmed, truly. Oh god, looking at this is so overwhelming. <laughs> we can't. We can't, LMAO, stop! <laughs> Holy guacamole, what is that, dude? What is that? You were looking, you were looking for the clip of Amber saying she didn't. Oh, no, 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 no. We're looking for a clip. Okay, hold on. Ooh, someone said it was debunked. Once again, just confirming that the talented Mr. Ripley reference has been debunked. It seems to have originated from this particular comment. I think from YouTube or Instagram. Testimony was reviewed by myself and many others. She didn't say it. So someone said that the thing about... Someone said that she said the thing about Johnny is it's like the sun shines on you and it's glorious. And then he forgets you and it's very, very cold. Which is a quote from like a movie or something. But she never said it. So they were basically saying that she quoted a movie during her testimony. But she didn't. So they were trying to make her out to seem crazy. But she never even said it. <laughs> so what, if anything, did you do the evening of the 24th of May? <laughs> we can't. We can't. We I can't. We can't. reached out we can't. to friends and family. <laughs> Ask for support. It's Objection. Hearsay. Sustained. Pasta. I'm surrounding myself with them. Or emote, I guess. Pharma. What, what, if anything, did you we do can't, we can't. for Lily Rose's birthday? I can't. I, um, <clears throat> that's why we had gone, gone back to LA. Johnny was sick. I don't know why. It's um, like hypnotizing that there's so many of them. After having passed out on the plane. So I took her to dinner. <laughs> can't stop. My laptop's burning up. Um, okay, sorry. We I gotta listen. To I gotta Hanna's. listen. What's a Benny Hanna's again? Um, I always forget. Uh, it was, you know, again, put on my smile, took her out, tried to it's a restaurant. make her feel loved. What's and a hibachi? Celebrated for her birthday, and uh, then I booked a flight out to New York to go back to New York, um, obviously without Johnny. Um, mm, I'm going to ask you to grill. now turn to 225. Live cooking. Ooh. Me like And, Your Honor, I'm going to be referring to the last two blue spots on that page um, with the state of mind. Um, mental condition. All right. It, it doesn't, it's still hearsay, Your Honor. May we approach? All right, some of you guys are clearly new. Talking about alt counter, question mark. Okay. Can someone in chat explain Cuts the alt counter? I'm tired of doing Just it. Just think it's interesting that her therapist said she Can wouldn't remember specific abuse instances cause of so much trauma, but she seems to be pretty specific about them in her testimony. Alt equals fake crying and trying to gain sympathy. I, I kind of, yes, but other things too. Other things too. Mm. 
Hmm, kind of yes, but I also can't assume it's acting. So what do I call it, you know? I'm going to ask you to turn now to 228. We can't, we can't. <laughs> Your Honor, we're going to object. Stop spamming that. First, first line, Your Honor, okay, is all I'm oh uh, my under, God, can't understanding breathe. Your Honor's ruling, but I think. It's painful to look at because it makes it, we can't. <laughs> Like, look at it, bro. How can you not stop elevating? We can't. I literally stop. Ahead. Because it's getting to that kind of laughter that hurts. Ow. Stop it. Stop. No LMAO. By the way, I have a hair appointment at noon, so Bish, I gotta go out like 11.30. Do not let me stream past 11, maybe even 15. I gotta check how far away it is. <sighs> okay, I'm checking. I all, I don't even need to actually check. I just need to open this, and it already shows me. It's all little fucking yellow. We can't. Stop. Stop. <laughs> Are you guys saying we can't stop? <laughs> that's good. That's good. That's good. I don't know if you're just spamming it for fun. I'm saying we can't. <laughs> that's good. That's good. What style did you end up choosing? A bitch? I don't know. I think I'm going to go in and be like baldness. How about some bald? Anyone feel a little bald? So, tell us uh, what, to please tell the jury what you did then over that night, the next day. They didn't and, ask. Oh! And, and, and Just kidding. at the hotel. Bitch. If I see any more little I cried yellow balls. A, a lot. Try to surround myself with my friends and resolve to leave him. I felt, I felt powerless. Nothing I did made a difference. You know, on the plane, I was so it's careful. Objection, I'm responsive. ULT equals using her professional skills to Please deliver her side of the story and, to and persuade you tell the jury that she's feel, the victim in this don't situation. Go now stop, plus I, a wee uh, Resolved. We can't stop. <laughs> Tried to. Dude, the strength to commit to leaving him. So I knew I had to. Much like I knew nothing else would make a difference. So I got myself back to LA. I mean, I'm um, excuse me, New York. And uh, started going to <laughs> Al-Anon meetings every day. To support. It's a support group for <laughs> people who love addicts and alcoholics. Who oh. I and thought what she if any meant communications like, did you have like with Stephen fetishize Bruders? them or something? Objection she here, saying like people that are with your honor. I just, that are what like, if, anyway. Let me ask it this way: What if any communications did you have with Mr. Duder? Why did she word it like that? Of Mr. Depp. Objection here, saying. I would say agency on that, oh, your honor. Well, you have to lay a foundation for that. Okay. All right, let's go to two twenty nine A. Like, okay, I get it. Netflix released all the Twilight movies. Without you saying what content is, can you tell us who this text message is with? 
I'm so sorry. Uh, For John's legal assistant. purposes, that was a joke. What's his name? For his name legal Stephen purposes, Duders. that was a joke. Okay. And what, if any, communication were you Stop having with balls. him following the Boston plane incident? Objection hearsay. May we approach? All right. Yes, ma'am. Approach these notes. Just kidding. Not the ukulele. <laughs> Sad. <laughs> Angry. Even my smell. Doesn't he Don't. Hello? I'm sorry I didn't get a chance to introduce myself last week. Um, I'm Edward Cullen. You're Bella? Um, yes. Well, I just want to try one thing. Guys, just don't worry. Still. I still have this in the back, so I'll hear when it's back. How long have you been 17? A while. It's not you. It's I want to hear it's me, right? I want to hear her talk. What? Uh, 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 like that. Any cold, wet thing, I don't really. It's kind of like that. Follow me. I, I feel you know? very protective of you. Aww. I think 18 is a little young stuff. Okay, listen, I know people can like go back and poo poo on Twilight, but it's still fun to watch. And that you gotta give them credit for. They're still fun movies to watch. Nah, nah, everybody that says hell it's no. It's Alexander cheered 200. I'm about to end your careers. Listen, if they're not still fun to watch, why did you watch them recently? Ain't nobody holding the gun in your head. And if you didn't, like, how can you say that they're not still fun to watch without watching them recently? We didn't. You didn't. So then you can't say that they're still not fun to watch. Checkmate, atheist. Fucking checkmate. Got him. We can't, we can't, we can't, we can't, we can't. This is so, the we can't actually makes me feel like I, like I have an audience, you know? And they're all, they're all laughing, bro. Oh my God, it's gonna hurt my neck laughing at that. Stop it. I ban that. Like, I love it, but I cannot look at it too long because I will start recanting. I, I literally Did hit you chat. communicate at all with Mr. Depp in the days following the plane, Boston plane incident? Yes, I did. Please tell the jury about those communications. I still so see you guys recanting. Um, Directly, I also it. heard from him through his assistants who were texting for him. Objection, Your Honor, hearsay. I'll sustain the objection. You're not allowed to testify about the text messages with his assistant, but can you tell the jury about your communications with Mr. Depp? Mm -hmm. Okay. It's kind of confusing because he's texting through them. Objection, but Your I, Honor. I'll sustain I, the objection. I, I'll strike that from the record. And you'll just I, regard I that testimony. Please answer the question. J just confine it to the communications you had with Mr. Depp, please. Uh, he, that he was sorry and uh, told me that he was in a blackout. He didn't remember everything, but what he did remember, he was ashamed of. If you guys are still weak, uh, he begged me to forgive him. He said he understood. Everyone. Thank you. And forgive me, Bitch. forgave me Stop. if, I, if <laughs> I never wanted to speak to him again. I can't breathe. I, um, he texted me at one point and then, and then I didn't respond right away. 
and he texted me again that he understood that I had made my we decision can, to move on Monica. and good luck and I was better for it and and then continued to um, contact me. I spoke to him when I was in New York on the phone and he said that he was um, ha he had a chip Am or I the only one who finds that he weird was that she's going to meetings that he uh, retelling I think at the this? time mentioned a and silver, the whole time she looks like this uh, another celebrity that was kind of advising him it's kind of a weird on expression. sobriety or not advising him but you know encouraging him <laughs> and he was saying well, look you know me and this person we're we're doing we're even went to a meeting um i've got three days sober four days sober <laughs> and that was the last time the monster will never come back monster will never come back and because it felt like such a different it felt so much worse than it had ever been before and because i had you know went i went to new york and i was trying to get my strength to leave him, I actually thought that it kind of would be the turning point. It, I thought I had effectively. Objection, Your Honor, non responsive. Bitch said you've taken oh, too oh, long. Oh, okay. Thank you. Go ahead. Please continue. Damn, they are demolishing I I, her. I thought things would change. Okay. Oh, Did you. Uh, her flow has been draft murdered. Any kind of uh, email to Mr. Depp to express your. Emotions and how you they felt. They said, wrap it up. Objection hearsay. Wrap it up, I'll lay the foundation, Your Honor. Let's go to Defendants 239. 239. 239. 239. <laughs> wrap it up, Quaker Oats. <laughs> Objection hearsay, Your Honor. And I would say both present sense oh impression and definitely. Oh my God! Every time I say I can't, can't, it turns into a we can't. I'll sustain the objection. All right. <sighs> so you are losing it. Did I you am. ultimately communicate you seven disgusting sheds to Mr. Depp what you first drafted up in an email without saying anything about what's in the email? That calls for hearsay, Your Honor. Well, couldn't she just show? I'm just asking if she draft? did. No, what she said. Correct. Okay. Overruled. Did, did you communicate to Mr. Deb what you had drafted in the email? And don't you, you don't get to say what you said? Yes. Okay. And <gasps> what, if any, response did Mr. Depp have to your sending that email to him? That, is it an altar? Is it a tear? He came to New York. Cameraman, to zoom in. Fight for the relationship for me. To prove that he was sober and he was committed to changing. Cameraman, zoom in. Wait, I think, is there one? <clears throat> I believed he was there might be one like here. embarrassed and sorry. He said he was, and I believed him. <gasps> Is that one? Was that one? So I took him back, or I, I got back with him on the I condition that tell. he would uphold his promise. to do the treatment, to do the full detox, clean up, and never go back. So I'm going to take you now up to the Ooh. June smirk, through smirk, August 2014 smirk. time frame. Uh, and I think you testified earlier, and others have as well, that Mr. Depp brought in Dr. Fuck, Kipper and his group. I don't think there correct? was a tear, because yes, I feel like it I would did. leave a mark. Um, can you please describe for the jury what those next <gasps> few months were like? Them nostrils be drier than the Sahara, my guy. What are All you sniffling sudden, up? Um, 
Kratz two this tips doctor two dollars. gets brought My ultimate on is ready. That had and also you could tell because I've been talking about it when she brought up the tissue. I was like, oh my god, it's here! But then she put it on her nose, not here. Her nostrils, she, like on the tip of her nose, and she was like, and then she brought it up, like what? This Bro, thing. listen, if you're a girl and you're wearing makeup, you know as soon as you cry, that tear goes down here. You take your tissue, you dab the tear, and you bring it up the wet part. You don't just put that shit on your nose. Before. Like, ain't nothing coming and out of here, dog. This doctor, Dr. It's the Kipper, nostrils or the eyeballs. Apparently wrote a book on addiction and was this doctor was going to be the solution. <laughs> I'm deadass overanalyzing her tissue use. And he got, That's he got crazy. brought on board and all of a sudden the plan was that this team would be involved in Johnny's recovery. So I felt, we all felt serious. I felt like protected. You know, I'd already by this point heard a million times. It seems like I promise to get clean is <laughs> over, but this felt like... A change. Yeah, I don't know why I doubled and, uh, Nadia. We're to come to Boston and start working with Johnny. And the plan was to keep Johnny on a, on the same level of drugs that he was on since he was filming. They needed him to finish filming the movie, uh, so the he was going to be same level of drugs. What does that his, mean? Uh, prescri with prescription pills, including the painkillers. And oh. the 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 plan was he would obviously abstain from alcohol completely and all other drugs like weed and coke. And then when he finished filming, the plan was to objection, Your Honor. Here, say, and lock a foundation. I, I, I don't and understand. irrelevant. What the objection? I, I don't. Think and non-responsive. Just explaining the context and there. I don't think bad she tissue usage. The foundation. How she knew. And look, look, look. How, how did you know that? I was involved in the conversations. Okay. Please. With the doctors. Objection, Your Honor. What are those? The sister. Objection, and Your Honor. That's still hearsay. Okay. All right. Okay. Okay. That, that part is. His um, lawyers are so, on one uh, today. And on one hand, what, I'm like, good for you, Johnny. Next? They're doing good. But on the other hand, I'm like, shut up. This is annoying. as a result of these communications. You're doing a good job. But... Communications were. A nurse I would like to listen. Came to Boston, uh, where Johnny was. I just would come for short periods of time, uh, in between. I mean, on weekends from filming until I wrapped my movie, which I did. I think in May. If I am not mistaken, and then I went to Boston and I was there and saw um, a nurse was flown out to Boston, Debbie Lloyd. And I, I can't stop Kipper thinking how too, much this reminds me of Twilight. I can't. They put Johnny on a bunch of new medications, which they shared with me, told me about. Objection, Your Honor, hearsay. But, uh, Is it? But we, we have to be careful about what other people told you. Okay, so, but you can testify to what you know, okay? So, what happened then? Oh, it's the way she's wording things. Bro, her lawyers cheated her. Um, like, shouldn't they tell I know her, the amount you need that to word things told in this specific way. On or did she just write a fucking so script they, and, memor and memorize it the way that she did? For the filming. Meaning, not change, make a drastic change in the amount. No, I'm saying they should have told her beforehand, because otherwise but it interrupts her he, flow, which is really not good for her his testimony. His behavior, his whole personality changed drastically. Like they're annoying rules, but they're they he are rules that you can work around pretty easily, especially for someone who's and rehearsing. And at the time I was staying in Boston with him, ha having wrapped my movie, I guess that's just and he would my in mid though. mid sentence, mid word, fall asleep. Uh, it, one time I was sitting across from him and he that's Kevin bro would come in and out of sleep of being awake or completely what appeared to be a see you in court and talking to me and he had a cigarette in his hand <laughs> and you know Johnny constantly smoked and he just sat the cigarette see you in court Kevin and fell asleep while speaking down on his leg they're hand rolled cigarettes they don't stay lit um, very long thankfully Stay but lit. you know he it was things like that and i didn't understand it even though i, I had I experience like this. with drug use um mm. in my family i i hadn't seen anything like this in and yourself? it was so dramatic the change that well, i which isn't was bad to say. trying to figure out with the nurses and doctors wh what happened what change how we could explain the change and what medications were causing it. I knew there were new medications involved. So, you know, I was constantly um, worried and in communication 
and Johnny's behavior got you worse don't and worse. Sound more worried? You sound uh, of this passing out, nodding off, waking judgmental. up in the middle of the night, screaming, waking up in the middle of the night, sometimes crying, and the Aww. emotions would change from one to the next. Like by the by the second, he would the. I remember I we can. were on a long weekend when he Objection. was in Boston we and we can't. went to this like ho like a resort retreat hotel and you know he was just bawling you know I it broke my heart there was just a lot of changes and Objection I, I, I really didn't know um, I felt so bad for him and I, I thought maybe it was just what Kipper had introduced into the regime the medications but what I found out in in that time is that he was taking about double the Objection, amount. Objection, Your Honor. Hearsay. Was no, I your saw. Observation? I saw it. Okay. I, overruled. Thank you. Please, please continue. Uh, it was taking about double the amount that he told them was his normal when he uh. started the the process with the doctors. So. After a few, you know, it's I think months of going. What is wrong? And you know turning him over when he vomited at night or checking his pulse. God, there I were, do look like a little toddler, but also all of a sudden like I a just, mom. But also like I an aunt. realized the amount was How about do I double. Look like all those he, at I realized then he had been lying to them and me about the oh amount God, yeah, so like that he could get blanket. extra high before Wait, did he, he laugh? detox. Laugh or smirk? But okay. that I can't, dis th 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 I was so, it was such an agonizing few, that, weeks, months. It was so agonizing. I don't know how long it lasted, but I was so concerned for this person and he had just been This person? You mean your fucking husband? Doubling up his meds because he didn't Why is she wording it like that? So, uh, Michelle, can you pull up 1092, Defendant's Exhibit 1092? Also, does she realize that her telling us this just makes us feel bad for him? Amber, did you take this picture of Mr. Depp? I did. Your Honor, I'm going to move the admission of Defendant's Exhibit 1092. All right, any oh. objection? No objection. All right, 1092 in evidence. Oh. You're, gonna... You're just embarrassing oh, him. You're not you proving can. that he hit you. Can you describe what's depicted here and How why you taking you a picture, picture of all this shit and not... This was during that time when nose. the prescriptions that he was on in the in, in the doubling up of the opiates got so bad that he, he 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 was he was like this just throughout the day off and on and then he would take Adderall and he'd be really animated and ready to go and then it would be this again and it was so erratic and so it changed yes, so quickly and I or had a drug naively problem. now Can really did not on? understand what was going on I deeply cared about Dating a drug addict this human's awful, well-being. Yeah, but that's not right. what we're and here to expose. It was very confusing and scary. So did there come a time yeah, then that the Mr. Depp went into detox for uh, Roxycon? Roxy whoa, is this a better Codons street? Do they have more deets? Yes. Uh, when he finished you filming. You took a photo of him sleeping. Congrats. To do the I detox, like his and that's what we did. And when building. was that? Um, that would have been uh, early August of 2014. I believe we left. We were there for, I think, a week to 10 days, 8th through the 18th. He's got the psycho leaf sprout. And we've heard some testimony about this. But Let's survive Patty Play's tip $5. She's using terms like the person, the etc. Island, to distance uh, herself from the relationship because she can't process the truth of that. It was also, for the first few we days. really, really can Okay. Peaceful. <laughs> I, the, the Stop! Nurse, uh, and then later, nurse and doctor were staying on a different part of the island. Um, a few minutes oh drive uh, by ATV, Stop. like 10, 15 minute, you know, um, by uh, one of those ATV it's vehicles. It's like I have to laugh, but, but we I communicated don't want via walkie-talkie and occasionally through text. And um, it was just, it was okay at first, and then the behavior, then it just really wasn't okay. Uh, it was up, down. He'd be mad at me. Um, then he was wanting a hug. Uh, he cried a lot, and then he. Um, 
you know, wanted to have sex a lot, like, which was just not like Johnny at all. And <laughs> it was just like that. It was just up, down, and it. and it was like I was, it felt like a Oh, I'm counting that as a laugh. That whatever he I'm was going through. I'm counting that as a fucking laugh. Like, adapt and kind of roll with it and, and provide he support. Can't. I was taking his blood pressure. He can't. Uh, I was on a schedule and he constant said, yeah, communication I with the nurses fucking... about delivering the meds, giving him his meds at a certain time. <laughs> Uh, I was just trying to take care of him, and uh, a few days in, you know, the I guess the, the effects of the detox really started to change, and it went from this like erratic behavior, up and down, up and down, to just really down oh, yeah, and mad. And he burst into, into uh, anger at me, Isn't yelling at me. So I crossed the table. I walked away yeah, from it at the table. Attic. I crossed the table in a certain way, and he screamed at me about that and tried to overturn this table. Luckily, it was sorry, bolted sorry, down to the, um, to the deck. But I remember him shaking it and screaming. And at a different point, he was really calm and sweet and thanking me. And then another, uh, you know, he um, looked like he was balancing out. And we had a, a conversation. I and just he was don't saying, like this because it feels like she's like, trying quit to the detox so she and villainize me for more. being I can tell you a drug addict. I think this one to, um, is better cause it has a camera on both him. of them. NBC you know, only. Okay, yeah, let me know. Him how let much know. he wanted that. How much he had told me he wanted that. How much he I was reminding him. He told me all the time I, I saved his life and he wouldn't be doing this without me. And I was telling him these things and I was at one point in our conversations, I told him about how objection your honor here say it's so Alex and as cheered I, 200 I, I, bits, crying face, crying face, um, skull, skull, skull. I said something to him and uh, he got so angry at me, he slapped me across the face, but he did it like while crying. So it was the the weirdest thing. He's crying, saying no woman had ever said in an interview embarrassed him like that. For a no no woman had ever made him feel like that. I heard that for the rest of the trip happened, too. Just it's very common for people to switch. And repeat and for the things that they're lying about. That's what I thought too. Felt bad. I feel bad. Still feel Someone bad. Someone said, and that's called a mood you know, swing. It's part of being a Gemini. Feel embarrassed. That's not what I wanted to do. I just was in over my head. I don't know how to detox someone. You know, I don't know how to help them see that. And I shouldn't. You shouldn't, shouldn't have been what? there. You know what? What? <laughs> Bitch, you're grown. Well, you you're there? dating because someone who's a to. drug addict. And like, you very you much know, know that. that. that was a phenomenal you should want idea. to be there in hell. I don't hell. know why anyone. No, why the doctors and nurses didn't tell me not to. I didn't. You're such a. I had no idea what that was going to look like or be like. I'm sorry, I'm being it was biased. You know, we're on an island. I'm trying to take care of him. And he was hallucinating. And Objection, Your Honor. Non-responsive. Uh, oh, oh, oh. Screaming at me for things that I said when I didn't say any. I hadn't said anything. I, I would tell him, Johnny, I... Objection, I, Your Honor. Hearsay. Well, I, I think in the context, Your Honor, I don't, it's not offered to prove the truth of the matter asserted. What's it... Forth. Objection, it's Your Honor. Telling the context of Quaker Oats. I'll sustain the I chance. can't get it out of my mind. Please continue and just say what he says and what he did and what your observations were. He was um, accusing me of having a man in the house with me. We were in a single, you know, in a cabin. It's basically one room with a closet and a bathroom. I mean, there's nowhere to hide, really. I mean, there's a closet and a bathroom. And he, at one point, told me that I was hiding somebody in the house. Another point, he was communicating with someone not in the room. It, it, it would yell at me, and then he would cover it up, but he wasn't there. And I tried to a check for ask my for what mother. I should do. She I didn't loves know what to do. Culture pop out. It was terrifying and strange. Eight, 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 eight. A whole eight. week. Listen. This wasn't my favorite henna that I've gotten done, but I will get a so nicer one done next after time. After you left Bahamas and finished with the detox there, where did you go from there? Guys, I'm going to have so much. I'm I'm pulling up the notepad. Me, I have so much me, she, to say. Debbie Lloyd, uh, Kip, uh, Dr. Kipper, and I, and Johnny, 
we flew back to LA and the, the, he was going back and forth between saying he wasn't going to continue to, he was committed. It was back and forth. Everything was up, down, erratic, like ch changing every second. And we got to LA and uh, Debbie and Kipper communicated with me. I won't say what they said, but I, I decided it would be probably in everyone's best interest if I went away to a hotel. Um, Johnny uh, put me up in this room in this hotel while he finished the process of detox in LA. And I had my friends out um, with my girlfriends there to support me as per usual. So let's, Michelle, can you pull up 272, please? After Bro, you both returned oh, to no. LA, um, did Mr. Depp communicate uh, with you <laughs> by text while I you were apart while he was no. finishing the detox? Oh my uh, God. Yes, he did. Your Honor, I'd like to move the admission of 272. Any objection? Yes, Your Honor, to the first message. Excuse me, I mean, Your Honor, to the second. You mean the response? Right. Okay. Uh, and it's just present sense of uh, impression, but I'm understanding your honor's yeah. rulings on that. Okay. So can, redact it? can we redact fine. that second message? Um, yeah, damn, I forgot. What is chiro? Chiropractor for my neck. <laughs> Yo. All right, your honor, I... All right, any objection to 72 redacting? No, thank you, Your Honor. All right, 72 is in evidence, and we publish. Patois bro tipped two dollars. I'm going to Sorry show you to interrupt now what the poking, is defendant's but I just want to say Eid Mubarak from Singapore, smiley August face. August 20, 2014. It's a text message from Shukran. Mr. Depp to you. Do you see that? Yes, I do. Okay. Mr. Depp and to just you. just so that we can highlight here. He's calling you, he says, just to let you know that I'm fine, my angel, I miss you, of course, but this was the right thing to do to speed up the process. I love you more than life. Yours, Steve, you see that? Why does that? it say Steve, though? I do. So what, if any, expressions was Mr. Depp giving you at this point that he was angry with you ever uh, uh, having to help participate with the detox or to be on the island Is that or like anything a secret along that name? line? Steve Objection form Steve, Steve compound. Steve. I, I'll allow it, but just for the, trying to keep the record clear, 272 has already been entered into evidence that without like that redaction, so there wasn't any objection. So I, I, I might be wrong, but I weren't there witnesses that keep stated track of their that evidence. Amber took she, she also admitted to that she took, like, shrooms and MDMA with him, but not, like, the harder effect. drugs. So, okay, so 272 is in evidence without you can clear the redaction and, and publish mm -hmm. it. It, it's really the party's responsibility to take care of the record, not mine. My, my apologies on that one, Your Honor. All right. All right, and I will yeah, MDMA is a hard drug. Thank you, Your Honor. It's just less addictive, sorry, perhaps, I'm, than I'm some other ones. Yes, that's fair. That's fair. That's fair. <laughs> what, if anything, maybe Actually, Mr. maybe it's less so than that. I think him on the island and it's been, like, there. branded as a less hard drug. But Very in reality, it impacts you a lot. That. How do you know? I actually know, like, um, quite a lot about drugs. I've watched my fair share documentaries. He was... MDMA people brand as like a fun drug, but it is actually when you would have these kind of way more episodes detrimental to your brain um, than like other things it, like acid. Or I else. did nothing but try to take care of him. Um, I'm not a nurse. I did my best to support him. Mm, I don't think it was in and your heart. He thanked me. He thanked my mom. He thanked my dad. And told me, of course, I saved his life. Uh, that he wouldn't be able to make this change without me. And People actually talk like that, saying like you're my life. Horrible and hard I just on want him you to be happy. Yeah. yeah, yeah. But that he was so thankful that I was there for him.
Okay, we can take this down now, Michelle. Thank you. And um, I'm going to take you up Sorry, I think to it's September, funny when says October old. of 2014. Uh, do you remember Girly one Magic tier, Mike please. Two in that time frame? She was in Magic Mike too. Yes, I do. Uh, and what if any Hi, connections Bobo. did you have with Bye. Mr. Depp in that time frame? Hi, my love. Well, I bargained with him uh, about me doing the role. He told me he would um, oh, he would call the boy. actors. It was a mostly male cast. Mm -hmm. But I bargained with him. Jackson, your honor, hearsay. Um, don't say what you said. Just say what he said. Okay. Mm -hmm. He laughed. Um. He reluctantly kind of Cowboy Aquatic tipped two dollars. So like Amber Heard said, movie, but more importantly, I kept saying he was Auburn filming Red Man's meant a different crimson. movie in London Yay, at the time. Important to correct myself. I, I oh my God, both fell. Wasn't going to play a sexualized yeah. character. I wore no makeup or minimal makeup in the movie. No sexy clothing. No kissing scenes. No sex scenes. So I went and did that film. Do you guys know if Johnny expect like October did the same thing for of 2014 in Georgia? Like Walked if he in, also uh, did do kissing scenes. Finished his movie in London, and then at some point he came out uh, to pick me up in Georgia and oh, I love him so was there for much. my last like day or two of filming. He laughed again. Okay, I'll change it soon, but first. I got a love on my I'm going to, It's uh, not so much ask $2 you when you can't get the tears out, so you just look at her knees. Please, defendants, 310. So you just look at your knees. Hmm. How many kitties? Two. Two Did you babies, have communications with Mr. Depp about auditioning for another role yeah. in this time frame? Objection, Your Honor. I'm going to object to the exhibit. It's hearsay. I'm not sure who's in the text exchange. It is a text exchange, Your Honor. So, uh, but the green is Mr. Depp. And I would, the, the one I'm most focused on is on the second page, Your Honor, the top. The green bubble on the second page? Yes. Green text, Keck. All right, so just that text. Uh, Y'all don't use uh, iPhones? Based That's on Your Honor's rulings, yes. Uh, any objection to that text? No, thank okay, you, Your Honor. if we can get that redacted. Multi-millionaire, no iPhone. Well. <laughs> and while that's being redacted, Amber, let me ask Not you. Not you guys, I'm talking about what them. What if any, uh, anything was Mr. Depp saying to what you, if you only in have Wi-Fi? this time frame? We're talking in November 2014 about you not working anymore or not taking on any more work or auditioning. Objection, Your Honor, compound. They're all the same meeting. subset. Overruled, I'll allow it. Thank you. Johnny was angry with me uh, for working. I had finished my job and I needed to eventually find another job, meaning a movie. To work on, and he was furious at me for. He found, um, um, like, we call them sides, they're just pieces of an audition, pages. Right. And he found something that had been sent to me to consider auditioning for, and he blew up at me for. Um, yeah, I think he's. What he said to me is that I didn't tell him, uh, that I didn't ask him, uh, and that Objection, because he didn't know about that audition that I hadn't done yet, that I had been hiding it, and was furious at me. Uh, all I'm imagining is Kristen I, Stewart. Um, that's all that's in my head right now. I ended up not doing that audition, I believe. Well, there was a, a few. 
one or two in that time that I did put my, uh, I did audition for it and one or two that I didn't. Okay. I'm going to ask you now to take a look at what is uh, Defendant's Exhibit 310. Uh, do you recognize this email Breathe through Mr. the weekends. Deb? Don't look at them yes. directly in so the eyes. Yes, Your Honor, I'm going to move for the it, admission it's of... In, it's in evidence. 310. Oh, okay. It's evidence for the redactions. So pl I published pl it. Pl please tell the jury uh, about this text and the context. This was um, Johnny's response uh, to me, apologizing for having a... Uh, an audition. Okay. Thank you. All right. Now I'm going to stay in November of 2014. Um, and did there come a time that Mr. Depp told you that he understood that you were not going to accept any more jobs, that you were going to stop working? Well, Johnny said this to me in in an argument, in, 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 in a, a fit of rage is the best way I can describe it. And kind of alluded to, to me having agreed to not work anymore, which you, if you don't know me is, um, I don't, none of us do. It's preposterous. Uh, Literally no one. There's no way I would agree to that. And the jury knows you. Uh, although you I did make concessions you? and gave up a lot of objection fights. Objection, your hearsay. That, that wasn't weird. Overruled. Thank you. Please continue. Um, so he reached out to other people like and to, if to saying, me if to that effect. If they're saying, if you don't watch my stream, uh, between for, a courtroom. Uh, taking meetings. There was one in particular I, I, I wanted, uh, one meeting I wanted to take because it was a project in development with a sci-fi writer. And I remember I wanted to take that. It, it, the, these things were just, con I, they were just constant and constant fights. But in between them, when things were good between Johnny and I, he would be, you know, he would word it to me like, I'm trying to look out for you. You know, you say that you don't want to be objectified. But you're doing it to yourself. You know, you, but at first it was because I dressed a certain way or had sex scenes and I then it just got more narrow care. and more narrow and more narrow what I could do without taking, without being the blame. Like these are like annoying complications the in your toxic relationship. Hollywood. The we entertainment want to industry know, was like, putting me in a box you know, about and objectifying me. Abuse, so it, there was it any, became my fault. And I believed it. Yeah. You know, I, I, I believed it. I adopted I a lot of these changes of like, myself. Not because you know, this Johnny, shit. you know, said you have to do it this yes. way. Ask her about the shit. But because of all the other I things that he said and did, I, I eventually found myself you making know, decisions about my own shit. career, about how I dressed. But how I wore my hair, how I presented, where my eyes were cast when I walked into a room. And I believe those were my own decisions. Amber, did there come a time in, in November of 2014 that you engaged in some couples counseling with Dr. Cowan and you and Mr. Depp? We attempted to. I had stopped seeing my therapist at the, um, in 2014. Uh, I couldn't sustain seeing her and be in the relationship with Johnny, and I chose Johnny. Um, eventually, Dr. Kipper introduced me to his close friend, Dr. Cowan. And I met with Dr. Cowan and agreed to let them share communication about my care, my treatment, both what I said to Cowan and what I said to Dr. Kipper, who had become my physician as well. Stephen Thehart, so underscore tipped two dollars. Uh, he also Amber put a nurse an abuser. on me that would be drinks. my travel companion. Amber created a toxic and that travel companion in which Johnny may have done things to her in self-defense. And report to Why Dr. Dr. Kipper, like who she's reported everything movie. to Johnny. Objection hearsay. Calls for speculation. I'll sustain the objection. Okay. Okay. So tell us about the couple's therapy in November 2014. So Dr. Cowan, this man who is friends with Kipper, is treating me um, 
agreed to see Johnny and I together. And uh, I don't know how many minutes of that went on before Johnny uh, stormed out, um, knocked something off the table on his way out, and rolled a joint in the bathroom before storming out of the office, <laughs> slamming the door. Objection, don't give a fuck, honestly. Right. So I'm going to take you up to December of 2014, <laughs> and specifically December 17, 2014. Like, is it bad? Um, yes, and I'm but I ask still. You to take a, do you, what, if anything, do you recall of. I think I feel um, bad because she's Deborah really unpleasant to listen to. Barker. Barker. And, uh, he was the sci fi writer. And it always ends up being well, something that, like. Fantasy sci fi writer. I don't um, care about that much. That I feel I like she's saying to make him look bad when really, in reality it's like... I kind of had like, a dream project especially for uh, based on a book a drug that addict, I, I like loved of known this a drug author. Um, he's just a weirdo genius, fair, genius artist, writer. And I had a meeting with him um, through another director about a piece of property he wanted to make into a, a, a movie. And... Um, I just remember uh, we were, I believe we were at the ECB, um, it was in December of 2014 when um, Johnny found out that I had this meeting scheduled and um, was furious at me, um, accused me of having this plan to sleep with this Man. He's mad that I was taking the meeting at this man's house, but the man was was very ill, like terminally ill, and uh, not able to leave his his bed or his home. He was under home care and uh, very ill. And the person who was introducing us Why are you meeting the explained to me Ill man? how we had to meet, and I did, and that was a big problem for Johnny. It, at first, it was. Um, Is that, that he not odd? was concerned about my safety, and I thought that was sweet. And you know, there there is something that's that I thought was sweet and romantic about that. But um, combined with the drinking, it just he Does she he have a history it was um, not very we long know that before she did I was cheap, but we don't being know accused of on having this other plan to sleep with the writer in order to get this part that I was already being, you know, basically offered to develop. Is and that it was just that you had this, done before? you know, he switched from me having, he it was accusing me of having this ulterior motive with this director, the director having it with me, then with this writer. And, um, and the, the, the important thing that I can try to get across in this moment is that nothing I said no amount of explaining, apologizing, accepting, not accepting, uh, agreeing to not go. Nothing worked. Nothing changed. How mad he was at me and constantly telling me I had done something wrong to deserve what was happening. Until, of course, he takes it too far, hits me too hard, breaks too many things in the house, and then leaves. Which was the pattern and he would leave and not have to deal with the cleanup. He never had to deal with the cleanup. He never had to deal with the destruction again. or see me with a house that he had destroyed. He never had to deal with my face the next day. He was just, he just Can we see it? go, I called it splitting. He just split. And eventually I get an apology of some kind mm. or I would get an offer to have him come over. He would offer to come over and talk or give me my peace or give me my goodbye. And in many ways, I found myself accepting that knowing it was kind of false pretense because I too wanted to resolve it. I didn't want him to think I was sleeping with this sci-fi writer. I didn't want him to think that I was this slut. He, he, he said I was all the time. I mean, part of me really wanted to believe that he didn't mean those things and I wanted to get to that part of him that would tell me he didn't mean what he said and that he was acting this way because he was messed up, you know. And the cycle would repeat, I suppose. Was there any physical violence on or around December 17, 2014? I, um, yes, is the answer to your question. I just don't 
I don't really remember say, yeah. what happened in that fight. Uh, I remember more afterwards. I remember it's how like she's making it too obvious that they prepped her. I remember him like, telling yeah, me yeah, we know you're supposed far. to be prepped, but I remember him saying he'd never do it again. And I remember wanting to get to Christmas. You know, I, Christmases are hard I, probably for everyone. And I remember it was close enough to Christmas that I was tired. And I wanted to be in a forgiving, not forgiving, I wanted to be in a kind, gentle, peaceful state for Christmas. I didn't want to go through a breakup this time. I didn't want to, you know, I, that's what I remember at that time. Let's bring up Defendant's Exhibit 321, Michelle. Well, guys, people are allowed to not remember things like that happened. And this is on... 12-17-2014. My bigger bits. issue is like, Yesterday she remembered for the amount of time, it's a text during, message exchange between you after. and Mr. Depp. And now it's the opposite law. Yes, it is. Your Honor, I'd like to move the admission Listen, of the defendant. Listen, I'm willing to give her the benefit of the doubt. I Any just objection? want to see a piece of evidence. Something. Sorry, Your Honor, just a something. quick minute. <clears throat> a little something, something, please. Your Honor, no objection. All right, 321 in evidence. You can publish it, please. Yo, can I just say, I love her fit. The green suit with the green flowy shirt. Amber, I'm just going to uh, pants, turn your attention to great. this. This is an email exchange between you and Mr. Depp. And he says, I, like it. I am truly sorry to have upset you to the degree that Slim? I have. Slim? Like be shady? I'm sorry for yet again ruining your day. I do, of course, take your generosity, your selflessness, your affection, and your sweet doting deeply into my heart, and I think that I've been reciprocal. Agony is never the answer to any equation or occasion, nor is rage. Please know that my apology is sincere oh and God. solid, and as stupid as it sounds, I hope you're meeting with clients. I'm so sorry. I have to say this. He texts like a boomer. Only my dad does dot, dot, dot after every single line. And I think it's really, really cute. But again, just goes to show generational gap. <gasps> Why does she respond doing the same thing? That's fucking weird. My Barker is excellent. You see that? I do too sometimes. Okay, sometimes. Yes. Okay, and then you respond. But only Thank like, you, you know, words. all the older people and you you do it after every Daddy sentence. His mother. Yes. And I feel like she does a lot of mimicking. I then had a... Um, I do that. No way you put uh, dot, dot, dot a, after um, every single sentence. A glass of wine with uh, my former agent, Megan. Okay. That, um, <laughs> that afterwards... Right? Um, uh, Wait, right? She she encouraged. I do um, that a lot. Objection hearsay. Yeah. Okay. How old are Thank you? Thank you. Sure. <laughs> All right, and we can take that down. Let's bring up three twenty five. Defendants three twenty five, please. My boss does that. Yeah. Okay. From my experience, when I see someone do that, they typically end up being an older gentleman. That's all I'm saying. From my experience. From my experience. And this is an email exchange Someone the following said, what? day, dot, 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 if, dot, 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 I do, dot, 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 that. Yes. Okay, Your Honor, I moved the admission of defendants 325. Literally, my dad texts like that. Mine, too. It's already in. Oh, it's already in, Your Honor. My apologies. Maybe we'll it's because they think $2. like that, which isn't a bad is thing. A participant in it's already in. It's been in evidence. Does anybody over the there have a list of evidence that's already in evidence? Her testimony is viewed as okay. always okay. slanted sure? against her, but not for Johnny, who is probably Ours just as bad. It's, yeah. it, it, it's in evidence. Without reduction. She yeah. hasn't admitted to it, anything it, bad that she's done, and we know she's done bad shit. So it makes her testimony sound like kind of biased BS. That's how it is in evidence, Mr. Murphy? Right, we can check. We'll check our copy. Thank you. <laughs> she has She has done some shit. <laughs> we can't. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> it's fine, Your Honor. We've confirmed. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> Someone said pokey. Dot 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 dot. Main. Stop. Stop it. Arrête. Stop. 
You can't see it on your screen. Ooh. All right, we'll take care of that during the break. If you I find the text exchange oh, to be so okay. interesting. Thank you. Hey, by the way, you have all these. Right. Um, where okay, are the ones where you. you said that he said so that he hit you? This is from Mr. Depp, right? Just Says, a question. The way I've let it go too far went too far. Do you see that? Yes, I do. I always regret it when I jump, or worse, when you jump. I don't want to be conditioned to continue that behavior. Therefore, I'll put in heavy work with shrink. What is your understanding of what he's the referring therapist? to with shrink? Um, psychologist. Objection calls for speculation. D d did you have an understanding of what he meant? Yes, I knew exactly what he meant. And what did he mean? Shrink is shrink. Yeah, I was what, just going to say shrink sounds shrink? like shrink. He. Johnny called That's why I uh, guess the shrinks, meaning a psychologist, therapist. That's what um, old, shrink. older people okay. that tend to call them. I'm sorry for being less for your disappointment in me. For my behavior, I'm a fucking savage. Do you see that? Yes. All right. Going to lose that, going to lose that. The devil is all around, right? Now, you respond to this. And of course, before you go there and he says, I am well aware I should have been bigger at the moment. Wait, and now we pause and we read this whole shit. For starters, whatever, if he's a fucking savage, he also said, when I jump or worse, when you jump. Okay, her too, her too. I wish I were able to bring even just a glimmer of a smile to the pretty face of my most gorgeous of dreams and darkest nightmares. Gorgeous of dreams, aw, darkest of nightmares troll despair i love you far too much for you and i to be these heinous slinging insults like we do slash did it's always a mutual thing it is not anything that i'm particularly proud of to have participated in and i regret giving it life because mf how when we fight look how when we fight little girl wait huh how when we fight little girl how do we end up on the very edge of the precipice and why wish i knew god damn and know that you are right i am well aware that i should have been bigger than the moment and that i will never again manifest in negative experiences it can be done what a killer concept to visualize wish you were in this lunatic's proximity be careful that out it will there never I again adore manifest you. in negative experiences it can be done what a killer concept to visualize this you looks like an yes, M &M you respond, i love you i miss you already correct that's right right and what if anything is that <laughs> in consistent with the cycle that you have described well, the language um, he used after particularly violent <laughs> episodes was savage, monster, devil. And so we ended up both calling his other side, the side of Johnny that would do and say unbelievably horrible things. Okay, and when he said it was mutual, Johnny, what kind of things did you do? Dark opposite. And this is typical of the apologies that I would get um, when he took it too far uh, physically. I was encouraged because I thought it meant he understood he could really hurt me. Sometimes I didn't think he understood how much he could hurt me physically, I mean. Uh, so, after this, I, uh, uh, I had a, a visible bruise. I, I don't remember where, but I remember what other people, well, I can't say that, what they said, so. Anyway, um, and I, you know, in these fights, I tried to stand up for myself by December 2014. Thanks so much. I was pushing back, I pushed him off of me, I tried to hit his hands away, I tried to always get back up, which sometimes, not sometimes, almost always made it worse. I always seemed to provoke him. Um, but I tried, and worse, I, you know, I would yell at him and scream at him. I call them ugly names. So ashamed of the names we call each other. It's awful. It's awful. We both got into that pattern. It was so, you know, I felt so angry that this was happening to me. And I felt, it just felt so unfair, you know? It felt like nothing I could do. It felt like nothing I could do would change the sobriety patterns. It felt like nothing I could do would stand up for me. Nothing I did made him stop hitting me. Nothing. So, you know, I tried for over a year, maybe maybe two, of just not responding physically, not responding verbally, just staring at him. I tried to freeze. I tried to go to a different place. I just, I would try then lashing out verbally. I would try to threatened that if he hit me again that i would call the police you know the police were called us the audio sounds weird. i tried to do everything i also thank you for the donuts you know, sinister tried to leave them Welcome. and nothing was working and i think by this point in our relationship um we're both saying awful things to each other screaming at each other and unfortunately um when johnny would start hitting me he just went I'll also describe it. Yeah, this might be a good okay. Time just good to lunch break. All right. We'll go, ladies and gentlemen, we'll go ahead and take our lunch break at this time until two o'clock. Please do not discuss the case or do any outside research. Okay. Thank you. Damn it. Maybe I 
I should have kept my Cairo. Guess that we just gotta talk for an hour. Oh fuck. And again, ma'am, just don't discuss your testimony with anybody this time, okay? All right, thank you. So two o'clock? All right, thank you. Your Honor. I wrote a note, okay? I wrote a note. I was so annoyed at the way that she tried to, what's the best word for this? She tried to make his drug addiction sound so terrible and messed up. And like he's so weird and crazy. And yeah, borderline embarrass him. And all this stuff. And my issue with that especially is the way she described herself in that moment. She was like, and I didn't know what to do. Like, I'm not equipped for that. I shouldn't have been there. It sounds like... It sounded to me like she was being judgmental even in that moment. But if you've ever known someone, if you've ever loved someone who has a drug addiction, that's not the sentiment you have. You're not like, oh my God, get me out of here. They're crazy. You desperately wish you could help. You wish you knew the right thing to do. You're not like, oh my God, we need a nurse. I shouldn't be here. And you also, like, you would feel terrible sharing these kind of details publicly. Is it a terrible thing? Yes. Is it even a terrible thing for them to go through and for the people around them to go through? Absolutely. But the manner in which you speak about it, yeah, it almost sounded like she didn't truly care for him. Not to say that like she didn't love him or something, but I guess it just came from the perspective of a narcissist for sure. For sure. Tu parles vrai France. <laughs> Pokey, merci, merci, j'apprécie ça. Damn, it was just... Bleh. I hope that the jury can see past that. I understand that a drug addiction might make someone more violent and therefore, you know, that's like something to consider in regards to domestic abuse. But I feel like she goes way too hard on the on the drugs and pain killers and prescription meds and blah 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 aspects and like, oh my god, listen to him like wailing on this plane or look at him passed out it's like you're putting so much emphasis on these like I can't think of another word kind of embarrassing parts of drug addiction and little to no emphasis on him actually hitting you or at least no evidence it's all so damn weird to me it's all so weird Johnny Depp Links is a drug-abusing, violent dollars. man. I Listen, thought it I was really interesting this. that Johnny always apologized via text <laughs> about an incident they both contributed to, and Amber never replied with an I'm sorry to. Listen, it's okay that you think that, but to me, there's proof that he's a drug addict. I just haven't seen enough proof that he's a violent man. Also, yeah, that is interesting. She also would usually say that she's shrink sorry. Is shrink. What did, what did he call shrink?
Mm. Whoopsie. I love. Uh, I want to see the rest of it. Who is Steve? That's Johnny. I hope Steve ensues her for defamation as well. Ed Grund escort cheered 200 bits. It's like she only has evidence for his addiction, which we already know about. Yeah. But not what she's actually accusing him of. Yeah, it's so weird. Why, Steve? Um, I don't know. I'm guessing he just liked to go under a different name for privacy purposes. That's my best guess. I'm trying to see if there were other messages. Also, this was Heike so sad. Like him leaving her during his detox. Yeah. Oh, also, yeah, she did say that he texted through, um, she te he texted through his assistants, so maybe Steve was one of the assistants. No, guys, my hair appointment is at noon. Compound. Please. Where did Amber say that she's also sorry? Wait, did you guys hear about the Ray J. Kim K stuff? I know it's not super related, but oh my god. Ooh, also, we could watch the beginning part that we missed. I don't know if you guys saw that. No, what's up? So you know how Kim K and Ray J leaked an adult film, or there was an adult film of them leaked years and years and years ago? In the most recent episodes of the Kardashians show they were saying that Ray J's manager was threatening them with another adult film that just hadn't been posted and then Ray J was annoyed by the way that they made him look Take on the Steve show two dollars so he it's came out that's... with this massive statement saying that Kim K and her mother were in on the leaking of this video from the start like they intentionally wanted to leak this video sleepy cat Isn't that insane? two dollars steve is a character from a movie they both love so it's her nickname for johnny while hers is slim oh i see can you imagine being a mother and helping your daughter leak her own sex tape Is that sex positive or just weird as fuck? It's hard for me not to feel that it's weird as fuck. Yeah. Take Steve tipped two dollars. And you know it's what else is crazy? It's because all she is on him is his drug addiction, so she has to go all in on it to survive this case. What else is crazy? I think. Do you guys remember how Kim K was Paris Hilton's like assistant or something or closet cleaner, some shit like that. So Kim K like low key worked for Paris Hilton. Paris Hilton actually had a sex tape of hers leaked. Like she didn't do it herself. Um, Cause I've seen the documentary that she did and the way she spoke about it made it very evident that it was not something she wanted and something that hurt her a lot. But I think Kim K saw 
how that propelled her career her being very close to paris hilton obviously saw it so she was like i should do the same thing They wanted this fame so desperately from the start. So to be honest, at this point, I kind of have little to no empathy for them left. Like any of the scrutiny or bullshit that you guys face, you've been wanting this. You've been been wanting it for like decades. That's weird and gross. Yeah. <laughs> you been wanting it. Okay, do you guys want to listen to the beginning? Nope. Zero. Suggesting that Also, I, I want to go change my shirt, um, so I'll be right back. Let him rent my apartment for the vultures he, that's what he called the press and he said now that we were like a known couple now that it was out in the press that um my apartment wasn't like safe effectively for for me and i you know i had a modest apartment uh in los angeles and so he started uh saying I needed to have security on me or we'd bring out the neighboring um, the neighboring houses um, because of the vultures and it, it was a conversation and then that conversation evolved into that I should move in with him. Um, you know, he always wanted me to go with his security guards, wanted me to have his credit card. Obviously I wouldn't accept that, but the conversation about moving in became um, you know, uh, hard to resist because I was increasingly becoming a part of his life and also loving his, loving his family and feeling like, you know, more stability would mean more stability with him and his struggles with drug and alcohol abuse. I mean, use, and I thought I would uh, minimize some of the jealousy and insecurity that he had. It was hard for me to work, justify working. Every audition, every meeting, every script I got was a, a negotiation or a fight. I had to justify it like as if I was saying, hey, let's have an open relationship. It was, you know, and I thought that would be minimized if I could wait, make him wait. feel more jealousy and insecurity wait, that he had. It was hard for me to work justify working did every you say they had an open every relationship meeting, every script i got was a a negotiation or a fight i had to justify it like as if i was saying hey let's no. have an open relationship it was oh know, as I, if. I thought that would be minimized if i could make him feel more secure but you know if we leave live together certainly there would be more security right and that was my reasoning Surely. So you talked about still reading scripts and things. What, if anything, did you do differently in terms of pursuing your acting career? Well, I've always... I've always been really... I've always been really independent, you know, and I've never imagined not working. I've worked from the earliest time I can imagine. I come from, you know... I don't know why she scrunches her face like that, but I feel like everything she says would be 40% more believable if she wasn't doing this, you know? Parents who worked until they literally couldn't anymore. You know, I, I never, never Outfit imagined is giving myself pilgrim. having to explain I, my job it's still or giving Quaker my job, to me. but it, I did, you know, and I am independent and I've seen myself as independent and strong-willed and I had to bargain every time I get a script. I it would, see myself as independent and strong-willed. Be so odd. You know, I thought you weren't taking another job. I'd always say, are you kidding me? That's crazy. I have to work. I support my family. You know, when I moved out to LA, I'd get a check for 
you know, a gig, $600 or something. I saved half for me, sent half to my family. You know, I, I kept having to justify taking work by She's saying doing I'm supporting my much. parents, you know, I'm um, supporting my sister. It's I'm almost supporting like my character family. creation. <laughs> and he would say, you don't have to work, kid. Let me Guys, take care of you. My me. woman doesn't have to work. And that sounds really sweet and really romantic in, in some way, but it became a real fight. You know, every time I got a script, it was what kind of, you know, how I was dressing, what kind of behavior I'd have, what, how did I have a sex scene? And then I started saying, no, I won't take the sex scenes or, you know, I'll, I'll take the part where I naughty, naughty. don't play, you know, that kind of character. <gasps> Wait, this is such a good point. She's like, she's talking about how she sends half her money to her family. I remember when she said she donated seven million to charity. So if you guys didn't see that part, she said that she would donate, I think, everything she got from the divorce, which was like seven million to a charity. And then she ended up giving, I think, less than half of that and just never coming through with the rest of the donation. Yeah. Um, so where to rest at? 350k was all she gave. Everything else was donated in her name. Elon Musk, I Shrek think, donated half a million on her click behalf. Click the link, queen, click it. Amber Heard posing for a picture with the napkin. I mean, I think maybe she was just... You know, maybe she was just w wiping her nose. And after... You Okay, no, that looks like it was frozen in time. And after you No, that looks frozen in time. And after you Did that actually happen? What the <laughs> The more you watch it, the worse it looks. Is the video editor or then I let me see if I can oh here it is. Let's find out. Is this Twitter rumor shit or is it real? I was ready to not believe it. I I really was. No shot. <laughs> and after you both returned to the Oh, she held that. Did so let's Michelle, can you pull up two seventy two, please? And after you both returned to L.A., did Mr. De nah, man. That's crazy. Looks like she's just blowing her nose, though. I talked about this before. What she does with that tissue makes no sense. And I know this is such a weird thing to pick apart, so I hate to do it to him. But I will do it to him. Which part is it at? Okay. Let me show you. There's no tears. There's no nothing. Right? She brings... I'll back up and a little bit so you can my see. Friends out. She not um, crying. My girlfriend's there to support me, as per usual. Nothing. So, let's... Michelle, can you... Pull up 272, please. She goes... And then dabs the tissue, please. like, on her nose. Not, like... And she doesn't even, like, blow her nose. She, like, does this. 
She doesn't like blow and she doesn't like pat any tears. <laughs> I can't get over that. And after you both return to. And it's like, you did all that just so you could do this? What does that mean? I felt like the this was like overcompensating. To be like, no guys, I actually was. Like there was actually something there. Yo underscore boy you underscore have tissue in your tip hand. Why $2 would you... praising praising your own character while speaking poorly of someone else yeah. is often a manipulative tactic. She should be staying on topic cause all well, this fluff will work against like her. The facts and evidence should speak for themselves. She wild in. Bro, I'm still annoyed that out of all the things that she has said about him hitting her, breaking her nose, doing whatever... One, no one else has substantiated, and two, she has shown no evidence of it. I just want to see something, sweetie. Please. <laughs> Please. To LA. Like, you know, move in with him and give up my place. Zara 109. Looking fucking hours from leaving your side. Johnny's face seems to light up too, so I'm not sure it's a camera flash. Oh, you're right. I figured it was maybe just like an overall flash, like not a flash directing, but like a round flash. But why else would their faces flash? It's not a flash, it's evidence coming up on the screen. Oh, the monitor. Oh. oh, actually, you're right. It wouldn't make sense for them to use flashes in a courtroom. All right, it's been debunked. That shit looked funny as hell, though. It really, it did look very funny. Happy Cinco de Mayo. You can hear a click, but maybe it's a click from, like, the monitor. I guess we'll know if that f picture is ever released. How about that? I don't want to make an, anything an issue, baby, but I literally have been on the ground just 14 hours from leaving your side. You know what I want, who I am, and where I want to go with us. You know very well that type of man I am. And yet, you lay a gauntlet before me that you know is the very species of danger that will always attract me into a very tempting test. What's behind that door? Almost impossible to knit take you on? To not take you on? You want me to roll the dice? This sounds more like an aggravated ultimatum than the soft words that could help to make us both feel better. Don't test me, please. What the hell is this about? I spent on the phone with him, texting, calling, we're talking, hanging up. He'd hang up on me, be upset, and then send me cryptic messages about my, my foolishness. And, you know, I, I'm already... Pokey, you gotta also consider that it's almost always hard to showcase evidence in cases like this because abuse is usually hidden. I don't disagree with you at all. It's just weird. Like, if she showed no evidence at all, that's one thing. But she is showing evidence of the most random shit and not the most important stuff. Does that make sense? Like, let me thoroughly document this bruise on my cheek and not my broken nose. Let me thoroughly document the cocaine and no one else can speak about the plane full of people that watched him kick me in the back and watch me fall. It's just odd. Do you see what her assistant said about her? Yeah. Yeah. I kind of want to disregard this because she said some bad things about the assistant and the assistant said some bad things about her. So her expert witness claimed there is medical records of abuse, though. Where is that? I don't know. Like if you have a really messed up nose, you go to the doctor and then there should be records of that, right? Doing a movie where I play this you know, character 
when I, you know, where I was empowered, like I read the script and I thought this character was empowered sexually. And by the time I got Johnny's feedback on it, I had been convinced that actually I was just being used. That it, I, it, I was just being used. It was clear that that was all I had to offer and I was too foolish to see it. And I now, had Amber, some... I'm just going to stop you right there because I'd like you to take a look at Defendant's Exhibit 188A. Mm -hmm. Is that in front of you? Do, do you recognize this portion of the text chain, chain between you and Mr. Depp? Yes, I do. Okay, and this is on September 9, 2013? Yes, it is. Okay, and... What? Did you hear the ex-assistant testified that Amber stole her sexual assault story and twisted it into her own. I'm sorry, what? I would like a clip, good sir. Anonymous cheered 200 bits. Thank you. Are these Statements I'm not Mr. believing Depp made anything to you during that evening that you just described to the jury. I get a clip. Yes. Your Honor, I'm going to move the admission of Defendants 188A. Any objection? No objection. All right, 188A in evidence as redacted. Do I have that redaction or is that something you need to give me? Is I that... think we're going to need to give it to you okay. hard copy. All right, right. thank you. Thank Appreciate you, Your Honor. And if I... You can publish. And if I can draw your attention to it. Uh, he he first says, "I don't want to make anything an issue, baby." But I okay, literally I have been on the just fourteen fucking hours from leaving your side. Do you see that? Yes. And then he says, "You know what I want, who I am, and where I want to go with us." Is it this? Amber Heard stole my sexual assault story. Ex aide tells libel trial. Amber's formal pro has accused the actor of stealing her own experience, being a victim of sexual violence and twisting it into a different story. In evidence given remotely from Los Angeles, Kate also said she had regularly received a barrage of drunken, abusive, and incoherent text messages from Heard. To my utter shock and dismay, I discovered that Miss Heard had in fact stolen my sexual violence conversation with her and twisted it into her own story to benefit herself this of course caused me extreme distress and outrage that she would dare to attempt to use the most har harrowing experience of my life as her own narrative that is really really disgusting james told the court that she had been subpoenaed to give evidence she was doing so because she's a sexual survivor two and it's a very the only serious thing i hear from amber's story is that johnny gave me stuff one. money 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 and more money I'm curious what she's referring to exactly. Do you guys think Amber Heard is cognizant of her actions or just delusional on another level? Like sometimes it's hard to tell. Like, does she know, or is she just super delusional? I'm pulling it. She knows delusional, del delusional. Deli. Damn it. I'm going to go get my hair done, but it's probably going to take a while. I'm going to get hungry. Just bring a bar. They know, they know, they know. They know, they know, they know. They are dating for 14 years. It is hard to gather evidence when most of the time you aren't aware you're in an abusive relationship until afterwards. I don't disagree, but you can also spin it as like, they were dating for 14 years. There must have been ample opportunities for her to gather evidence which is clearly showcased by the fact that she does have evidence of a lot of random shit. His drug use, him falling asleep, she recorded him on the plane making really loud noises, which is odd. But you're not going to take a single photo of your broken nose? That's my, that's my issue. It's less so 
They are not together that long? Oh. Well, it's less so... I would be I would be more inclined to believe someone who had photos of ever who sorry. I would be more inclined to believe someone who had photos of nothing than someone who has evidence of the most random shit and not the most important stuff cuz that just sounds like you're trying really hard to push a certain narrative by giving evidence of side things and lying about the extreme things. Like, there must be a medical record of a broken nose. Also, that's what a non-Islamic relationship looks like. I think this is such a bad take. There are abusive relationships in and out of religion, whether it's Islam or Christianity or any other religion. Like, obviously, ideally, we would love to say, like, religion tells people not to do these things. And they still, people still will. Sometimes people will use religion to justify their abusive actions. But if you're in like a very true, good religious relationship, like one that actually benefits off of religion, like you both became better people due to following whatever guidelines you learned, that's beautiful and amazing. But I don't think you can look at a relationship and be like, oh, well, they're both religious, so there's definitely no abuse. Or they're both not religious, so there definitely is abuse. Like, it's just not... <laughs> It's not that black and white. They know, they know, they know. Do, 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 do. They know. <laughs> what the fuck is that? <laughs> oh my god. In her case in London, according to the court statements, she spoke on the Boston situation where Johnny's assistant told her through text that he told Johnny that Johnny kicked Amber. I'm confused by that, don't know. So he kicked her? Also, can't they bring evidence from another trial into this one are they on break right now yeah they are until 11 yeah so is there that evidence oh <laughs> We saw this, but we also deduced that it might not be a camera. It could be like the monitor flashing because the light flashes in front of debt as well. Am I the only one who's a little bit... I'm not going to lie. I'm like mad that she made us listen to... Uh... He, he cheered 1,000 bits. And won't show us any of the good shit? <laughs> you really made us sit through that? There was evidence photos that were tampered with from the other trial. I was really excited for Amber to take the stage. Damn, she really do be acting. I was really excited for Amber to take the, <laughs> the stand. <laughs> but now I am more excited for Johnny to take the stand afterwards again, I hope. Or for her to be cross-examined. You didn't misspeak, though. Fruity and slip. Is that how you pronounce it? I don't even know. They know. Yeah. 
that the real is on the rise at the mother gas. I even gave them a chance to shine at Super Nano. They know, they know, they know. Okay, sorry. Um, Tur- <laughs> Turret's new PR team, hard at work, I see. Not the NYP photoshopping fake tears. We all watch the trial live. So true. I was waiting for even a single tier. Like, just one. I would have given her so many brownie points for a single tier. But you know what else is crazy? Even if we see this debunked on Twitter, there will be people who only see the New York Post's uh, photo and do maybe side with her just based off of that which you know the takeaway from that is everything on the internet well not everything on the internet but don't trust anything on the internet until you really 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 check for it yourself i think they were both abusive and awful to each other i think they were both at the very least like verbally abusive to each other I still want to see, like, proof proof that Johnny was physically abusive. Yeah. Only because, like, that's the main point of contention here for the defamation trial, right? Oh, sorry. They know, yeah. She said he tried to break two people's wrists, bro. What? Where are these people? No, no, no. He didn't try to break it. them. He would just grab them and threaten, like, I could break your wrist right now. But yeah, you could still have those people testify that he did those things. For sure. In your opinion, based on what we've seen, was Amber abusive physically to Johnny? I don't recall if there was super specific evidence of her doing that, but I think there might have been people that testified that she has maybe like hit him and he just kept trying to leave. Bro, I didn't want to be BM and say this myself, but yes. I think her cheek implants are making her emotions look off. So true. And because it's so angular, it's beautiful, but it's not like soft. Oh yeah, his finger. That's what it was. Yeah, his finger. Well, sorry, maybe it's not cheek implants. Maybe it's just very, very hard filler, but it does kind of look like an implant. The real is on the rise at the mother gas. Actually, that's true. It's so interesting to see how it ruins essentially like. He wouldn't come home or they couldn't get him up out of. She almost um, constantly looks on set. He'd be asleep in his trailer, sleeping whatever he'd done the night before off. Um, I remember he missed a, f a few days of work that way. I, it struck me because in, in my experience in our job, you, you don't miss work. It doesn't matter how sick you are, you, you go. It's, you know, it's millions of dollars every single day they're filming and, and, and I had not experienced someone um, who could effectively just control the set like that, you know, I mean, to that extent. Well, he's and Johnny Depp, so. One day he didn't, uh, come home, uh, and thing, I was worried surprised. sick. Um, I found out that he was in a hotel room with Paul Bettany. Objection, hearsay. Okay, move forward, because when he came home, they had to... His lawyers are good. Yeah, guys, I think the camera was just frozen during then. I'll just skip ahead so it doesn't look... A lot of voice memos, voice notes. Can we hear uh, him? And... You know, if I, I found that if I said, Kate, you know, you, you left the car oh, running with your, your doors open and your kids in the car on the street. 
to be an impulse thing. So I didn't want to mention it. I want to bring it. Okay. Very different. I'm going to take you to September of 2013. What were you filming at that time? London Fields? <laughs> yes, that's right. Okay. I was filming London Fields. I just All started. Right. All right. Did there come a time that you were in? Yes, very well said. I feel like it's very narcissistic to talk about just her abuse without acknowledging his abuse. Like she's painting him as this monster, but it seems very reactive. Even his message her basically straight up says he was being conditioned to react that way with her. That's crazy. Yes, literally every message that she has brought up, Johnny always clearly states that this is a mutual thing. Disgusting. And it just makes you, as a viewer, not, or even as a jury, it makes you not want to side with her because if you're leaving out the details of him being abused by you, what else can we assume you're leaving out or misrepresenting? True, but she's not going to say I hit him. At the very, even if she was, if she was smarter, she would at least make it sound more believable by saying like, we were in a toxic situation. He would yell. I would yell. Um, like, at least show that you're responsible in some way. But she's just trying way too hard to paint Luchidora herself as an angel. 200 bits. She did say that. Well, maybe less so just yelling. But I'm in crying, every situation, she's like, face. I just left. I left and he did all this and all that. Oh, sorry. I don't mean the evidence of her admitting which is interesting in and of itself. I mean her testimony. I'm just talking about it. in her testimony, she takes zero accountability whatsoever. Sorry, guys, this is not me debating whether or not she's done these things. I'm saying it's very clear she's done these things. But when she's telling her side of the story, she's not mentioning those things at all. So it makes her side of the story sound very, very, very biased. She's going to be shredded by Johnny's lawyers. <sighs> Easier to get JD's case thrown out if they prove her article wasn't false, but that her also being abusive wasn't false. She has borderline personality disorder. True. Well, I mean, I think that's what they testified to. Yeah. It, like... It's stupid of her to tell these stories as if she's an angel in this storyline and he's this big, bad monster, devil, Satan. When we've already heard evidence of her being toxic, we've heard from all these testimonies, and bitch, you was there. You were there listening to all this stuff. So why are you acting innocent? Very, very odd. Oh, I'm scared to click this, sorry. <laughs> In general, as a public affair, I don't knock her for coming off artificial or one-sided. The thing is, this is not just a public affair. Like, you're on the stand in front of a jury. These are human beings that you want to convince of your side. This is not how you do it. Being inauthentic is not how you do it. I mean, it's not like you should make yourself look bad with your testimony. She has to paint it like this. You shouldn't make yourself look bad. But because we've already seen evidence of you being a certain way, this narrative you're trying to pitch us is not believable. You need to like state a narrative that makes you seem the best but is still in line with the evidence we've already seen does that make sense if you guys have been following the case like it's been so many people so many testimonies pieces of evidence and she's just like oh let me tell you guys this story 
Where do all of those things that you just saw fit into this story? Uh, don't worry about it. Don't worry about it. You know? Whereas, bro, would it not have been so impressive if she came on and she was like, listen, yeah, I did some fucked up shit. Not with these words. But if she admitted to the weird shit that she did and the weird shit he did and gave like examples, any type of evidence. And then she was like, but I did not hit him and he hit me. And these were the situations. And even like a little, like a medical record and anything, I'd believe her. I'd believe her because yes, toxic relationships do exist. And typically when they get to this level of toxicity, it does become a mutual thing. Um, or I don't want to say typically, but a lot of the time. So like at least just own up to that. Just own up to it, bro. She could argue that her messed up stuff are consequences of Johnny's abuse. True? True? Maybe instead of hitting him back, she shot on his bed. Okay. But tell us, did you sh did you shit on his bed? We want to know. Bitch. <laughs> no. <laughs> we can't. <laughs> My God. She can't. She can't say that. She can't say that. It'll make her look bad. She already looks bad. If she tells us this story where she looks like an angel and Johnny tells us this story and he has seven people backing him up, who do you think we're going to believe? It's just not a good look overall became engaged to Mr. Depp. Well, yeah, it was difficult because in that, that role was a, like, a very difficult role. I, I mean, every, every time, every scene that involved sexuality or romance was like, I'd look at that on the page and it felt like a, you know, I'd feel my gut tighten because I knew it was going to be an issue. Uh, but Johnny dropped me off. He, he, I gave him the script. I sent him pictures of what I was wearing in the, uh, my wardrobe fittings. I sent him everything. Um, I shared his script. I remember hearing her say this and I think she said it yesterday too. And I'm like, okay, if he was really opposed to you wearing anything sexual and you sent him photos of everything that you would wear, then... Should there not be an example of maybe him being like, oh, you look like a slut or you look like a this or you look like a that or, oh, that's nice if it's something really modest or like cover up or whatever. I had a guy say that shit to me once. Bish, I still got the text. Not saying that just because someone says that like you need to always have evidence, but after everything she has said, like I just wish there was evidence of something something bro I almost would believe her lack of evidence more if she didn't describe herself as so self-aware in those moments and what I mean by that is when she recalls or when she describes incidents where he hits her and then he asks for her back she'll be like and and I know you can't come back from someone hitting you I know this. I know that if you knew in that moment that what he was doing was so bad, like, shouldn't you take a photo or tell someone, or like, document it in some way? I feel like if someone, and I'm not saying, like, people don't take other people back. They for sure do. But I feel like when you do, you tend to be a little more delusional about what happened in the sense that you're like, oh, it wasn't that bad. As opposed to being like, oh my god, he hit me. It was terrible. We're never coming back from this. But I'll take you back. Does that make sense? 
It's more about the way that she's describing herself in that moment that sounds weird. Yeah, like it's usually more of like a, a blind love or like I was, you know, I thought it was just like a slip up. But when she described the first time he slapped her, she was like, I knew we would never come back from that. And it's like, okay, so you're really aware in that moment of how terrible it is. <laughs> and you have two billion photos of him sleeping, but zero evidence of that? So odd. Closing submissions, paragraph 140 to 145. Bish, how do I find that? Oh. Oh. Oh, that looked like a lot of work. I'm sorry. It's always risky to say someone doesn't react like a victim because people react in so many different ways, but something feels off about her all the time. I agree, and I hope that me stating my opinion isn't... Like, I don't ever want to... Not just seem like I'm victim blaming, but I don't want to give other people a reason to victim blame in the future either. I'm really just trying to speak about my perspective on this sole case and just my opinion. I obviously can't say for sure. And I hope you guys, you know, can be adults and make your own judgments and be respectful towards others um, or similar situations in the future. This whole situation is very damaging for victims of DV. I agree. I'm out here like, is this thing that I said wrong? And considering all the shit she's done. I mean, I know, but who asked? <laughs> like, we're talking about a trial here. We're chomp. <laughs> look at how long this nail of mine got it's probably not even gonna it's you are so bad at auto focusing camera you really really are whatever whatever <laughs> mm, yes Yes. I'm sorry, I really am just sat here doing my nails. Well, you know, we're just pause champing another eight minutes. I guess I'll just play the video. My script with his, um, his team and uh, the fighting eventually kind of minimized I, it was clear i was going to do this job and i told myself i had i had to do this job and johnny had to go to london i think for some pre-production stuff for a movie he was going to do uh, a, a smaller part in i think uh, it was called i think this was into the woods is my best guess so he dropped me off in london and when he dropped me off in london we had a few days at this hotel that we first, you know, con like consummate. Can I just say, if she goes through her entire testimony and doesn't mention the finger thing once, I'm gonna be so mad. Made it our relationship in, you know, as a, a when we were on the London press tour, and our relationship developed. Um, that was the same hotel and we were in this same room, uh, which is a Johnny liked to be in the same room. <laughs> and it was really sweet. He so got down said, on look at Johnny's one lawyer. knee and said, I want you to, Bro, we try to be focus. my girl, be my girl forever, my woman, my girl. I want you to be the rest of my life. Say yes to me. Uh, he said he wanted to spend every every day. Uh, he, he promised me that every day His when I woke up, hard. that I would wake up and he would make me smile at least once. That's and that so would be his goal. 
and you know I, I looked into his eyes and I saw my future hope you know like blind hope so in love it was one of the most I can't describe that kind of joy you know I thought this isn't even live you know if we were married then this is real this is real this isn't a thing of this isn't chaotic and this will change you know I just I had I was listening to this while getting ready in the morning before I started my stream, but I remember when she was saying, if we get married, then like, this is real, this is real, this will be real to everyone else, um, which she'll elaborate on in a little bit, and it made me realize like, oh, it kind of sounds like in that time, she was still trying to prove herself, prove her relationship to others. It was less so about her relationship itself, and more so about how do others view our relationship. And I think that's also why she brought up the prenup. Um, and she said like, oh, you know, that way people have no reason to think that I'm a gold digger. It's like, oh, so this whole time, was that maybe one of the reasons that you stayed with him in order to like prove the relationship because you didn't want to leave because of how it would look publicly? I don't know. It just... It got me thinking about some things. I had so much hope in that moment. Um, and I just said to him over and over again, are you serious? Are you, real? Are you, are you serious? Are you sure? Because he didn't have a ring. So I thought, is this an impulse thing? You know, my experience, Johnny, could be very impulsive. And uh, he uh, he said over and over again, be my be my be my woman forever. I want you to be my wife, my wife, my wife. Um, I, of course, cried, and we had a wonderful evening, and I still, he left shortly after, and I was, do it again? like, the next day, I had to go to work, Sorry. and I was just, I couldn't tell anyone, and I wasn't sure. Part of me was worried that he Sorry. didn't mean it, or, you know, or, or that he wasn't sure. I just Sorry. didn't want it to be an impulse thing, so I didn't want to mention it i want to bring it up i didn't want to um and and i kind of felt oh, she sounds like she's talking about someone with alzheimer's like do you really mean it and then i didn't want to bring it up afterwards because maybe he forgot i don't I walked around so for a few hard. days like i had butterflies <laughs> under my skin and then my he brought my dad out to london with my best friends and my dad told me you know uh Johnny has asked me permission for your hand in marriage. <sighs> like, I cannot imagine someone proposing to me and then I don't bring it up. <laughs> Their relationship was odd. Very, 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 very odd. And what is this story for? What have most of these stories been for? Wish, oh no. Dad is a snitch. I, I, I felt like the luckiest woman in the world. So while you were filming London Fields and Johnny had gone. Bro, like, her crying is actually so good. Like, I believe it, but then there's no tears. It's so confusing to me as a human being. Because I'm like, the, the timing, the voice, the face, like everything adds up. But then just no tears. I'm back to L.A. Uh, what How do you believe that? Well, I guess tears are DLC stop. I guess what I mean is like, if you are at, if you're in a courtroom testifying about your ex-husband who was abusive, and you're testifying about like, the pinnacle of your relationship which is him proposing and how you felt like the most special beautiful person in the world especially looking at where you're at now i could understand bawling my fucking eyes out in that moment like this is how it ended up but in that moment like i felt so special
What, if any, issues did you have with him on Ooh, fraternizing guy? with the cast? I'm going to ask, Michelle, can you pull up Defendant's Exhibit 188, please? Your Honor, I'm going to object on hearsay. Your Honor, I'm going to, uh, let's pull up 188A. I've redacted everything but what Mr. Depp says All right, on 188A. 188A. That's a mission against interest. Do you have that? You don't have it. That. I mean, uh, while, while they're working on that, can, can you tell us what transpired between you and Mr. Depp when you wanted to do something with a cast member? So, as I said, he came to London for his own work and also dropped me, he dropped me off in London where I had to be for a few months to film this movie. And uh, he asked me to marry him. He brought my, my best friends and my dad out. They left. And shortly after they left, um, I know it's time, my but it's not back yet. Star relationship was false and cost him his reputation along with several acting roles. Now, Depp is also claiming that he is the real victim of abuse in their relationship, but there is so much more. Heard is countersuing Depp for a hundred million bucks over his alleged scheme to tarnish her reputation following the op ed. Since A hundred million bucks. I like that she said bucks. Thank you. All right. You be seated. Your next question. Thank you, Your Honor. Michelle, can you bring up Defendant's Exhibit 236, <laughs> which has already been admitted? Thank you. Oh. <laughs> Amber, this, I'm jumping back to the Boston Plain incident just for a moment. Uh, we had a lot of different uh, texts and a lot of exchange, but I just wanted to point out to you, this text message is from, this is from Mr. Depp to you, correct? Yes, it and is. And this is on 525, the day after the Boston plane incident? That's correct. All right, and he is saying, once again, I find myself in a place of shame and regret. Of course, I am sorry. I really don't know why or what happened but I will never do it again. I want to get better for you and for me. I must. My illness somehow crept up and grabbed me. I can't do it again. Do you guys think there's a chance like Johnny again. slapped her, but doesn't I know remember? you can't either. And I will for both of us, starting today. I love you. Again, I'm so sorry. So sorry. I love you and feel so bad for letting you down. Do you see that? I do. And was that the message that he that you testified to, that he gave you? Uh, yes. Okay. All right, now I'm going to jump back to where we left off. We're up in January of 2015. Um, Danish girl, you're filming in London, is that correct? Uh, yes, that okay. would have been I kind of want to see one of her movies just to see how I feel about okay. her acting now. Now, oh, yeah. we heard some testimony from Isaac Baruch earlier I don't think I've about seen a telephone call, call that you know. had with Mr. Depp. Do you recall that call? I do. Can you well. please tell the jury and remember to tell them what Mr. Depp was saying on that call? 
And, and you can give the back. I didn't mean to cut you off on the context. Go ahead. Um, is it okay to, that the nature of the conversation was yes. pleasant? Um, Y'all hear that little motorboat? Friendly, fine, normal. And uh, then... Motorboat, uh, yeah! Johnny stopped making sense with this. Like, you know, he'd start a sentence and then trail I've never off watched Aquaman. and act confused when... Bro, I'm, I've never seen Toy Story. You think I've watched I'm Aquaman? I'm confused. And... Um, that pattern kind of increased so like pretty a fish dramatically cat? in a short amount of time. And Why is she an I was in a man? hotel room a woman. in London speaking to him in uh, Los Angeles. And the phone, <laughs> what, what I assumed, cut off. I thought it was a connection issue. Uh, and I remember getting out of bed and walking into the bathroom to get something, and I was redialing him. And in the span of that short amount of time we had been disconnected, it was minutes, uh, not even minutes. I called him back thinking the phone had been disconnected and he answered and he said, how could, how could you tell me that? How could you say that oh, to me? me. Who, who, who the fuck is he? Who the fuck is he? And he asked me that a few times and I was It's hard for so me to confused. listen to stuff I, like this because you know, I'm like, was this before or after you cheated on him? Because if it was after, that to him. like he I says, understand. Who is the guy, the one in New York that you're fucking? And it, it was um, it was such a, a bizarre conversation because it, it had already started to feel like he... he was not making, it was almost as if he was confused uh -huh. by what sentence uh -huh. he had started by the uh -huh. time he got to the end of it. And then all of a sudden he, he tells me that I have just told him that I had a boyfriend or a lover in New York and I had, he, he's accusing me of having just told him about it, which was crazy to me. It, it, not only was that not accurate, I would never have communicated with him like that. Oh, more or less called him on the phone to do it and then call him back and wonder what the connection issue was. It was just the most bizarre thing. But he was so worked up, incoherent, and accusing me of having had this conversation with him. Eventually, the line dropped out, um, and I spoke to the person who took the phone. Okay. Like, how did that end? Yeah, I mean, um, I no longer spoke to Johnny. I probably can't say what the person told me. Are, are we talking about Isaac Baruch? Yes. Okay. So, without saying what he said, you had a brief conversation with Mr. Baruch, and that was the end of the call? I did. Um, it was my understanding. Johnny was passed Objection out. hearsay. Okay. Ms. Steen. All right. January 25, 2015, Tokyo. Please tell, it's uh, the premiere of uh, Morde Mordecai, correct? Did you accompany Mr. Depp to Tokyo for the premiere of Mordecai? I, I did. Um, when I was... Please tell the jury about that trip. Well, I had just... Uh, started to pick out the wedding dress right before that trip. And plans were moving for us to get married um, shortly after this trip. So we took this trip to promote his movie. I went with him. Um, we got in an argument in the hotel room. And I, um, I said, I, I don't remember what I said to him, but I, said something snotty to, to, to him, to pro you know, that provoked him, it provoked him. Um, and when I walked the into the, the hallway, the he grabbed me by the arm and slammed me up against the, the hallway wall. And I kind of struggled with him, tried to push him off of me. And I, I managed to get out of his grasp uh, enough to take a few steps and kind of, I kind of curved around and went into the closet and um, 
by the time I made it into the closet, uh, he had me by the hair and um, what felt like he was just wailing on me, but in a really sloppy way, like hitting the back of my head and kind of wrestled me down to the floor. I, I mean, it felt to me like I didn't even have a fair shot because I wasn't even really, I wasn't facing him or looking at him. I was walking away from him um, or else, you know, I, I, I would have at this point even like had it, I would have tried to defend myself more, but I, I, I didn't, I, I kind of felt like it didn't see it coming and he just wrestled me down to the ground. And I remember uh, he was screaming at me. I mean, like really screaming loud. Uh, the cake lady tipped two dollars. Don't forget about her hair appointment. Get a buzz cut. It suits you. And him kind of wrestling Don't me back down, and at one point, put his knee on my back. I agree. This one like sounds on my back. more legit than others. Also, because she's not this, stuttering like, and um, 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 between every other thing. Struggle with him. And I look at him and he's still got his glasses on. I just remember looking at him and thinking that was so... I mean, he just looked like he hadn't been through anything. You know, he still had his glasses on, sunglasses. And he was screaming at me that he hated me. He had his glasses. That it was over. He didn't want to marry me. He was disgusted. He was disgusted. He, he, he made this mistake. It was a big mistake. And everyone hated me. Some say to this day, and to this day, he's still wearing those sunglasses. I remember crying on the floor. <laughs> Just I, um, more than anything, I was heartbroken. I thought maybe he was serious. I thought maybe God, he doesn't love me. Maybe this, maybe he really feels these this way. I broke my heart. I broke my heart. I wanted to marry him so bad. I wanted. This is the man I loved, you know. Yes, it was awful at times, but I loved him. And what he Objection, was saying. Objection, Your Honor, non responsive. Overruled. What he was saying to me hurt. Just as bad as anything else. I just remember that. Savage. He left me on the. on the Objection, Your Honor, floor. irrelevant. And. <laughs> That would be uh, so much more savage versus like objection relevancy question mark. It's like irrelevant it period. <laughs> I went up to him at some point. I don't know how much time had passed. He was um, sitting at the piano in the living room of the hotel room that we had. I know it may be hard to understand. Why would it be hard to hard understand? Hard for me to hear myself say, but I felt I just wanted it to like, stop. It I sounds like she's running a okay. marathon, but instead, like tears should just. And I you know? just sat next to him on the piano, I'm and so I so confused. I just leaned my head up on his shoulder, and it was of course I was mad. Of course I was mad, and it felt it was horrible what he'd done. It. But on the other hand, I just wanted us to be okay. This I, sounds like a book. Could just put this other, I could put wow. the physical stuff in a box and I, I just kept going back on how much I love this person. So just, Holy shit. <laughs> When they come on and went to the premiere with him and walked a red carpet with him and I remember in the car checking my phone obsessively for pictures because my back was my dress was backless of all times to have a backless dress. When I was looking at my I was looking at pictures and I was on the red carpet. It's surreal because of this bunker box gaming tip for two dollars. She is acting that, like there were no marks on me, and we just looked like this other thing on this red carpet when it was just it 
It's not like that. <laughs> I don't get it. Embarrassing. <gasps> A tear! Oh. I'm, I'm sure it's hard to. Objection, Your Honor. I'm responsive. I'll right, sustain the objection. Next question. I'm gonna take you to February, the next month, 2015, to your wedding. Okay, I believe yeah. there was. Can you please tell the jury about tussling? Your Whoa. Probably on both sides, though. She ripped <laughs> off his his finger. So we get married in Los Angeles. I don't know what to think anymore. I. Get a sense of Shiny Gengar underscore tip two dollars. What is ulting? Also, how was, can you trust was, actors yeah. in court? Red, wedding running <laughs> around Los Angeles. I was getting married that day, and I remember running around getting I went to therapy and you know, uh, got ready and Johnny and I met at the penthouses downtown and I um, wore a white dress and um, a veil had Bobby pinned in my hair. Mm. And I walked out of that um, penthouse and met up with, I met with Johnny in the hallway. And Naka 66 so tip four dollars and twenty cents. Dono for tears. Thank you. And he seemed happy. <laughs> Shrekken in tipped two dollars. She I pushed so hard for that tear. We were making the right decision. I was so looking forward to how Polish tipped I two dollars. Depp's acting is better than hers, and he's not even speaking. Safety. She's laying it on too thick, which makes so it unbelievable. I, um, we, we get in the car, we get into actually Johnny's car, and for the second time since I've known Johnny, he drove uh, himself, drove us in his truck two it was times. being in the car with him alone you know we didn't have that and and we uh drove to his mom's house and a justice of the peace arrived looking kind of surprised and she married us in the living room of his mother's house betty sue with our families together uh, living my best room friend, my mom, his mom. Uh, we ate food uh, with the kids. They were there. Someone said team and choice award. We had a no. wonderful evening. Nar. And then got up and got on the plane either the next morning or the day after and flew to Johnny's Island. And we had um, tango the married in living room, fly is to Island. You know, she isn't getting, getting any acting gigs after, year, after this performance. Or so. Maybe eight months. That's actually uh, for this uh, tragic event. Uh, that's actually pretty good. Uh, for this three-day wedding on his island. 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 Uh, for we had them built and designed on the island, and we had people come out, and it was magic. You know, you. Spankle, but I tipped two dollars. Tear, one poo on bed. The love one. of my life. It was complicated. But. Um, Ms. Brittles I tipped thought, two dollars. She was, was literally quoting books and movies and yesterday. No, nope, that and was out. proven to be false. Day event um the first of which well, the first night of which was supposed to be he and i separate um with our relative party so me with the bridal party and him with his fellas the bridal party we had planned to um do a cuddle puddle uh-huh uh, have mushrooms and drink wine and you know have our own like you know girl party separate and then we the next day have the wedding festivities we we're going to be married around sunset and um, on this beach. I don't know what a uh, not cuddle the puddle is. Beach that Johnny had named for if me. Anyone knows, uh, although we, I think know. we originally planned on having the ceremony on that beach, but it was changed at some point to the other beach. And we walked down the aisle, well, the beach aisle, and um, maybe it's just like where everybody cuddles together. But 
the sunset all the things us, he has described i don't think he'd be down for a cuddle we puddle shot the bird meaning my right? finger up at the if he's so paparazzi helicopter possessive? circling or plane circling why would he be okay with a cuddle puddle while we were on the altar <laughs> and we danced and celebrated and then i left the island because i had to go work when you say you left the island and you had to go to work, what, what were you working on that required that? I was filming The Danish Girl in London, which is the film that I had been in London for in January when Johnny was hallucinating on the, on the phone with me. I was there doing kind of prep work for that film. And what, if any, film was Mr. Depp going to at that point? Well, uh, the plan, why we did the wedding when we did it is because he had always had this commitment to do uh, Pirates 5 and he was going to shoot that in Australia and I was going to shoot the Danish Australia. girl and I started the Danish girl um, in early February and he was going to fly out mid-February to Australia so uh, his movie was going to take the majority actors of the year dating actors until August so terrible. Um, maybe you must longer, be so that the plan was to like do it when we did it, so that we year. didn't have to wait until the fall of the following year. So, so intense! What a roller coaster! Shortly after I be left, John returned to Los Angeles, and, and then, then just bring flew him around with Angeles you everywhere. Onto, um, Sounds like an actual film Australia relationship. to shoot P five, uh, a Pirates five. Excuse me. Okay. And what was the honestly? Plan it's very similar with streamers uh, dating streamers for you yeah. when you finished with uh, Danish yeah. girl. The plan was always for me to wrap on my movie and then come and join him in Australia, where he was filming P5, P Pirates 5. Okay, and when approximately was that? That was March 3rd. M March 3rd that you wrapped, that you finished with Danish Girl? I believe... Uh, I can't recall the exact date, but I believe it was around that time. Yes. Okay. And Would you then poop on my bed for a hundred dollars. Tell the jury where did you fly to to get to Australia? How, how long of a trip uh -huh. was it for you to get to Australia? Not even a hundred thousand. Uh, it was about twenty-four hours. Not even a hundred thousand. I think it's about twenty-four hours. So like I could 200? be mistaken uh, on the exact amount of time, but I remember it's quite a distance from London. I was filming in London. He was filming in Australia. Effectively, you have to fly 12 hours, stop, <laughs> get one. on a different plane, and fly, like I think, around the same amount of time, if I'm not mistaken. Sorry, okay. why do we care? So, when you arrived, it, before you finished rapping with Danish Girl uh, and were heading out shortly before, what, if any, communications did you and Mr. Depp have? Well, at first it was... It was great, even though we were separated. Black it was six so hard to leave. Um, uh, leave the, you know, leave right after you Thank get you married. Market. Especially considering that um, in Johnny and I's relationship, it was always so much Snatcher, worse when I yes, went away to work. It, it just that's when problems started. So that was hard, but we communicated pretty consistently, and it was positive until. It, it started to change. Um, Shrek and then tipped two dollars. I got the sense that he around I emotions was so fast. Uh, sleeping Super with serious. the director, and then it was with the, the, the actor I was filming with. Who was the actor you were filming with? Uh, Eddie Redmayne. OK. Uh, the, uh, of course, I, not of course. I was not. Not that it mattered. But um, you know, I, I could do my best to feel the accusations, and then they would kind of subside, and I thought things were okay. And one day, right before I'm supposed to fly to Australia, he, uh, like right, the, I think it was the night before I was supposed to leave to go to Australia, he calls my uh, hotel room, uh, apparently. I had a sense that the phone was ringing. Um, I think it was in the shower at the time, but not much time had passed, and I get a knock on the door, and it was someone from the hotel um, that I was staying at. The hotel staff had been sent up to the room because John Objection calls for hearsay and speculation. So, objection. so don't tell what the staff said. What okay. happened next? 
then I start communicating with Johnny. And, and when you say started, I mean, did, were you was he on the phone? Did you call him? What 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 happened here? He called the room and then my cell phone. And then once I was on the cell phone, he was accusing me of not being in my room. So he called the room, and I had to prove that I was in the room because I don't know, by answering the phone. And we had a lengthy uh, kind of circular conversation about uh, where I was and why I didn't answer the phone. Uh, why check didn't mark, answer check the mark, phone check mark. immediately. Uh, he didn't sound like he was connected to reality. It Hustle just didn't punk seem like 200 bits. It, to me, Thanks it, for it being it seemed you. like a, a previous pattern. I, I was unsure what to make of it because he wasn't right in front of me, but he was accusing me of uh, what it seemed like is uh, having, I guess, an affair or a reason to not be in the room that I got a sense from him was... Um, you know, cheating or, it, it un, you know, that I was hiding something and I was, why I wasn't answering the phone and hence why um, I got the knock on the door. Girl, maybe it's because whenever you talk, you sound uh, sus as hell. That was right before I left. So as you're, he before you headed to Australia, what, if any, requests did you make of Mr. Depp for him to get you MDMA? I collect um, zero to five dollars. Uh, why, why is that ridiculous? <laughs> Because um, I would never, uh, since that time I learned my lesson the hard way on the plane to Russia, I would never do MDMA with him. That's, I, I'm asking for a problem in that case. Like that, I would never do that. Okay. So you flew to Australia. I just want you guys to imagine the things she says, but just said differently. Instead of, I, I, I would never, after what happened on the plane from Russia, I would never do MDMA with him. As opposed to, why did you run out? Because it's clear that after what happened on the plane, on our way to Russia, why would I ever do MDMA with him again? We would likely have an argument or have an issue, so I didn't want to do that. It's just... And it's like distracting, if Mr. anything. Depp, right? And I'm going to... Uh, if, can we pull up defendants 1809? I'm not even right? saying that what These she's saying... These are some of the pictures that is wrong. Like, you know, she's just stating why she was... It's so she had a phone, and then and then so I hope you have a good day, homie. Yes. So I don't have these Thank is you. what you're saying. Okay, that's fine. 1809. I would I'm never. just going to show you a few <laughs> pictures. Amber, um, do you recognize MDMA? Is yeah, a I realize drug. you didn't take this photo. I'm going to move the admission of it, though, Your Honor. Right, any objection to 1809? No, thank you. Your Honor. All right, 1809 in evidence. You can publish. And let me pass one up and give one to the other side. We tried to. Given the strangeness of this, Pokey, first you wanted tears and now you want her to be calm. Yeah, Which is yes. it? It depends on the situation. I appreciate it. If someone asks you, hey, why didn't you want to do drugs with your partner again? Do you recognize this well, because photo? Because last time when we did it, it went, it went terrible. And could you tell the jury? But then what if this you're is? talking about a very sad moment, that is the and you uh, sound driveway like leading you're up crying, to the house then there should be that tears. Johnny was renting <laughs> while shooting on the Pirates Five. And then I'm going to, I'm going to make this, try to make this a little faster, and I'm going to go. Oh, my God, I got to go soon, 18, but I want to see this piece 10. of evidence. I I'm going to Ms. Bernhardt, if you have a, a series of photos, if yes. you want to show counsel what I they are, maybe this. we can get them entered all together, and then you could just yes. go on with your questions. Yes, in fact. And these are all I will represent ones that we got from Mr. King. All right, if you want to take a look at them. And Your Honor, if I may just approach, I'll give you the whole stack. Okay, Please. that's fine. Can do any of them? No, Stennis, so, Your Honor. But, but make sure you look through them all, too. I just want to make sure. Thank I'll you, I'll go ahead and read them into the record once you have looked through them all. And then...
Thank you, Your Honor. I've re reviewed them. I have Out no objection to any of these. What in the world is that? 1804, 1805, 1806, 1807, 1814, and 1842. 1842. Did I get them all? I'm so good. I believe so. I'm psychic, bro. I want to make sure I just knew. So we, 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 that's all of my evidence? Okay. They're all in evidence. So as long as you're just going to be referencing those photos, we'll keep it on. We'll keep publish them. Thank you, Your Honor. Appreciate it. Okay. Uh, whose home was this in Australia? <clears throat> it was a. Um, I if you're like going to show me photos of a, a messy a place, I don't um, sports, sportsman, I'm racing cars or so, something of that nature. Okay. Let's say, uh, Michelle, if you can pull up 1810. She was listing all the years the U.S. was at war. <laughs> is this another picture from that home? Where is it? Where is it? Is it on the other yes, stream? Yes, that looks like it's the view from the bathroom. And then let's go, Michelle, if you can pull up 1811. There's a, something of that. Who Is that cares? a picture of the home? That's the house, yes. Okay. And let's go to 1812. And that's congrats on your beautiful that's from home. The um, living room it opened into a lagoon. Okay. And then I mean that, that was a nice thirteen. I gotta go, guys. I can't sit here and play real estate agent for Amber Heard. I can't sit here and do celebrity this house a, tour. A, this ain't architectural digest. Over of the swimming pool, correct? I yes. have a hair appointment okay. to go to. And then let's do one more. Eighteen. I will keep following on my phone, though. This is and inside the house. And the next yes. time that this okay. is on, which I'm guessing um, is Monday, if you can look to the back here, I'll try to clear my, my schedule so I can be here What if Monday. anything is that back there? Uh, that's the kitchen. Wait, is it on Monday or is it back on room, Tuesday? This is at the main level. What we're looking at. Oh, they is skip the, a week. The dining room table on the main level. Okay. With the kitchen in the background. Then never mind. Oh. Okay. Thank you. Sad. Now I'm going to ask you Sad. to take this jury through your experience. What happened in Australia? I guess we'll once play you video games or something. <laughs> Thank you guys so much for watching. I love watching this with you. It genuinely is such a great, great, great time. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed. And just know when I say I'm going to wake up and show up at 7.30 a.m., bitch, I mean that shit. I would never leave you guys hanging. Almost never. It's like approximate. It's like Tilda never. Because, you know, I can't really like, you know, what if I died or something? That may be. But, you know, I'm going to be here. <laughs> lovers thank you so much i'll see you guys very soon i don't know if i'm streaming tomorrow i might chill since i didn't sleep as much tonight but whatever i'll be on sometime this weekend and we'll have a good time also go check out cutie's girl trip she's doing a girl's trip looks really great maybe i'll be just maybe i'll be able to swing by i don't know but yeah go support them okay love you guys bye 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 bye